met a traveler from an antique land who said, Two vast and trunkless legs of stone stand in the desert. Near them, on the sand, half sunk, a shattered visage lies, whose frown and wrinkled lip and sneer of cold command tell that its sculptor well those passions red which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things. The hand that mocked them and the heart that fed. And on the pedestal these words appear. My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Nothing beside remains. Round the decay of that colossal wreck, boundless and bare, the lone and level sands stretch far away. Wait, Wait, did he ever check, check in? in? We, we, hey, we are not right recording. There, Good point. We have an audiovisual issue where Roll20 does not support the latest edition of Chrome or Any browsers. browsers. We are using Google Hangouts for audio and video conferencing, and we are using Roll20 for maps. Interesting, that's what's showing up. Oh, dear God. Right all right, you had your hand up, but change your guys, you guys change your picture to roll 20. So you're looking looking at the the flexion of your Joel look like your hands flash. Is it in charge? Now. Adam, can you switch back to roll 20? Oh, but I want to see Mikey. I right. roll. <laughs> we have uh, Josh's experience enough for now to pass up on GMing for a long time. <laughs> we, have re we have returned. Thank you to everybody for understanding. But, but people who are listening to this are going to not know that it's been three years or whatever since three our last straight game. Three straight years of GMing, yes. Oh, no, just since our last game of uh, P4. Joel has uh, kindly elected to return the GMing before the Lost City. He so has given us some information on our characters. Who were playing before? Is this um, after? Some people have sheets, some people don't. We're going to recreate those either now <laughs> or as we go. Know. How do you want to do that, Joel? I'd say, say make it up as we go. go. Oh, well, so we, normal. We've got all the vital statistics here. Yeah, but I, we don't... You have yeah, to. Yeah, Bob sent out everybody's basic vitals, right? And I mean... Well, this is this is uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. I don't know if there's a whole lot more other than that. All right, let's roll with it. I roll all the punches. Check your emails. Rolls rolling for you stuck on something, then we'll... Check your spells. Yeah, I mean, if you're a fighter, you got a long sword. If you're a mage, grab a couple spells up to your level. I'm a thief. You actually have to do something, Jeff. Well, you got, role play. I, I provide you all your weapons and hit points, mm -hmm. right? Names. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna Adam, were you born when this came out? Uh, not technically, no. 1977? <laughs> okay. No, no, it was not. I thought maybe I made it for ages. This adventure was dated 1982. Oh, he was alive then. All right. So just a real quick recap, in I case anybody pirate, is sorry. managing to check in two years after our last session. You, know you are, we really appreciate your dedication. I haven't put these up on YouTube yet, so okay. when the adventure's done, I'll put them all up as one. So anybody listening to this is going, I don't get it. You're wondering why, <laughs> why our voices have changed since then. We've been on a two-year hiatus! <laughs> Ever since the accident. So Josh is playing two characters. Oh, sorry to hear uh, about He's playing this. his main character, Dukat, and... Dupont's sister, Ashley. I don't think it's a sister. Uh, according to my notes, she is. Okay. So therefore, he is not her sister. Ashley's a female fighter, I know that. Dukat is a magic user clear. And a couple uh, interesting notes on each character. Dukat, allergic to cats. <laughs> Which his apprentice has one. Yeah. Interesting. I've never played that for that And Ashley's <laughs> interesting fact is sister of Dukat. <laughs> and she's smoking. Uh, El, also, she gets paid half, half of the salary. Eldane is, she, I she's Mike's wearing a character. bikini, but it covers as much as full plate. Fourth level thief, <laughs> and he's stinking rich. That's because he has everybody's money. I know. Oh, wait, there's something else about Mike's character. He acquired a magical intelligent sword. Has a magical sword that yes. has a name. I, what was I, the name of that thing again? Kevin. It has no name yet. <laughs> I was going to say Rudy. Mike, uh, I happened to listen to the session <laughs> driving in. Your sword has an intelligence of 14, it's an, ego, you. an ego of 5, it, yeah, can de ego. it detects things, and it's plus 2, um, and it likes to get into combat, and it was annoyed that you weren't using it last <laughs> session. Oh, is that why it was being such a prick about the, the yeah, magic stuff? Yeah, part of my character skills. And it seems like it pushes him to be reckless, like it, it convinced him to open There's up a doorknob that was electrified. I don't have it. Oh, I missed that. Yeah. We've, we've got uh, <laughs> Darter. <laughs> 
Darter is a third level fighter. Likes to drink and is good at protecting slopes. That'll be running up. He's so also he's also a genetic mutant. His scores are nearly perfect. He's got. I rolled those up in front of everybody. We, that was, he recorded uh, it. Yeah. You got a couple of seventeens in there. Seventeen, seventeen, fourteen. Like my lowest is a twelve, I think. Also, uh, then why are you the, so ugly? You're are the you? only party member that is evil. Do we know that he's? Evil? We do not know that. Okay. He's evil. We have uh, Elric, right. who is a student of Dukat. Second level mage, second level ranger, being run by Bob uh, with the black cat Mephistopheles. Mephistopheles. Like the devil. <laughs> but you're not your second. He's not exceptionally quick and he's not exceptionally slow. <laughs> okay. That's, that's <laughs> me. We have Ephraim, who's a third level ranger. Uh, that's being run by Adam. His name translates to the lone hunter. I should and, play that a little more. It's pretty good. And then we've got Kalar. I don't know who's playing Kalar. Does anybody remember who plays Kalar? That I was think it was Chris. Chris. Which is Hello, Chris. Character. Who? Well, okay, then we've got Kevhorn, which is Chris' main character. That's right. So do we split up Kevhorn and Kalar? Kevhorn was a third level cleric with a lot of healing. That's our heal pop. We need that. He has five cure light wounds. And Kalar was a wood elf, second level ranger. Stunning. Stunningly beautiful? Or maybe his attack stun? Or maybe his body odor is so bad that it is stunning? So if nobody remembers playing Kalar or Kevhorn, we need we, somebody we, to play those We need Kevhorn. I'll take Kevhorn. Okay. I can roll That's D8s. So you will kill and you'll heal. You guys got to help me play Kevhorn. I know nothing about him. Except Actually, 22 hit points, armor class 3, second level fighter. That's Kevhorn? No. Oh, Ash. That's Ashley. Joel, do you have to do constant I'll points you, in NAC? Yeah, but let me make sure I'm looking at the most up-to-date... Yeah, was my flail have. plus one? Yes. Plus two? Ashley? Uh, no, a Ducat. Uh, two? Fourteen hit points. AC? Three. Yeah, hey, I got bracers of defense or something. I remember listening yeah. here. I got a bracers of defense, too. Anybody else need help with their character? I have a uh, plus two flail. Kevhorn. Although, actually, sorry, Joe, Joe, Bob's looking that up. Do I have the throwing axe? Is that in one of our emails? Yeah, you've got plus a... one throwing axe and plus two flail. Armor class one. Kev horn. Thirty hit points. Go. Got that. Perfect. Where's this? Do I have that email? Yeah. Anytime I, I throw the axe, I, I pick it up. I'm just telling you that right now. Points. Even if I don't say it. Mike, you got your stuff. Plus two protection cape. Right. Plus one dagger or plus three versus good clerics. In case you run into any of them. Do either of my characters have special items? Uh, Ducat has uh, braces of defense. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise, that. that's, that's all true. I see written uh, down here. He's got five yeah. cure light wound spells. And Ashley just Two has chainmail and a sword. Yep. I, uh, last session, you guys found a plus one sword. I don't know where Strength that ended up. 13? Uh, Ashley may have taken that. Ashley has a sword plus one. I wasn't giving up my plus two sword, so I don't know who got it. Sword plus one, Ashley got it. Long sword. Everything else is... Elric My sword's the best servant. Servant. Now you need an AC in it. The Elric has an unseen servant. What am I missing? I got strength, well, spell, context, charisma. Sleep spell and unseen Intelligence. servant. Oh, yes. well, these are out of order. That's what, gonna drive me nuts. What's the HP for a Kevhorn? And the AC for Kevhorn? Kevhorn <laughs> 22. 22. 22 hit points? Well, he's a and not two armor one. class. His AC is 22. Uh, and he has two hit points. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> armor class 2. <laughs> so there is nothing you know about my sword other than the intelligence, the ego, and then it's a plus two. Is it a, is it a plus two to hit and damage, or just... Correct. Both. And, and you've got special abilities. Detect invisibility, locate object. That's it, locate object. Wow, you could detect invisible with that sword, too? <coughs> and it speaks common. Hmm. Thank God for that. Yeah. Hey, uh, what is uh, your your thief's uh, intelligence? Uh, it is a 12. So, the sword is smarter than you are. Shit, the sword has a 14 in it. It's smarter than everybody at this table. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are the characters? Or? I have a 14 in it. I think, think the, the sword's sword probably smarter than all of us. That's what I just said, right? Human. It's been around. Yeah, but you're a dwarf. You're not, actually. Uh, do you have any other notes on Kephorn weapons or... Kephorn leghorn? I think he had a hammer. Kevhorn wears plate mail. Okay. 
We got a lot of plate mail in this group, just for the record. And I don't. I don't have those those out of the group. back. I don't have a weapon here anywhere. Okay. So, so just hand to hand. Can, can everyone is the ranger, right? No, no he's the, the uh, cleric. cleric. Chris is cleric. Oh, Did you cleric? remember okay. what race he was? Holy yeah, he was a mountain dwarf. Every, oh. every time he rolls hit points for a level, you instantly add one on Holy top symbol. of all your other bonuses. Holy so. Gosh, sure uh, I haven't written down. I haven't picked out what I have. I'm not sure exactly how many I have. Because uh, I haven't written down here. I assume I mostly cure light wounds and magic missile. Oh, those, those are two of them they have. Oh wait, if you have, got, have a hammer. You've got uh, cure light wounds command. Uh, the, yeah, I have, I have a list. <laughs> but I have to pick which one I've memorized. Okay. I have not done that yet. We got he two needs old to persons. pick a different language. Yeah, I don't know. I, maybe maybe that is what I, what I memorized. Focus language. that one into the bindings of the. I have to go look at the view. Okay, and, and, and to give you a, a quick refresher, what you see on the screen the are the rooms that you've either been Coco in Cub? or sure. where you detected for uh -huh. right. uh, secret doors. Uh, that's part of this so Wikipedia. So it's blue, that's a, a wall that you have oh. on the secret door. Those are stats. Constitution 12. So should we look for a secret door? So what number are we? Yeah, he has a last name. He has a last name. Oh, that's all I have on him. That's really all there is to him. He worships <laughs> the no god of magic, knowledge, balance. I have no secret door there. I have no idea how to secret door. Cool. Cool. What number cool. of room are we in? You just finished room 27. He's got a how got a the hell do you know this? Yeah, because oh, I listened to the three-hour session to today. You're saying. Who's turning hammer? What's that? And you guys it's might remember you in room number 39A, you found a parchment. Bob couldn't figure out what, how somebody could leave it there for thousands of years. And it's it magical. Had, it, had, uh, no it, was, it had a map that, must have a shield, that uh, right? showed this yeah, section yeah, and an X. Right where, on the, this is the lower left-hand side, Mike, where you'll see a F with a circle around it. That's where the X is on the map. Yes. Guys, I think we should search for secret doors. Right. Right I'm just trying here. to find out if I have any more information on my sheet. Now, up here, we're at room 25A. <laughs> Sorry. The, re the reason it ends there is because that's where you ran into some kind of haunts that scared some of the party away. And they were pussies because you guys failed your saving throws. So you never advanced any further than that. So we're in 27. We had a full rest. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. we can have a two-year rest. Yeah, you can take your, your two-year rest. So, so we regain so three we hit points? Is that what it is when you do a three-year rest? You may, absolutely. You're three years behind uh, water and food supplies. Yeah. Is <laughs> there <laughs> I, I have create water and create food. So. Two to eight. Use a lot of spells. All right, I guess I'm going to this guy. Two to eight. Two to eight. Two to eight. So, two to eight. Dash eight. Four. Two to four, yes. I did listen. I know I have a what's bunch of darts. Is it, what's the strength so there are two, uh, two places no you have not explored okay. on this level yet. You've not advanced oh, past no here, problems. and you've not advanced past here. All right, so I guess we're going to go out of 27 and head up the hallway there to our left. Yeah. Carefully, no, stealthily. Yeah, we're we're, we're, we're going to go stealthily, Check but with my kid with a 10-foot pole tapping ahead of yeah. us. Yes. And then on three of us in full plate. Master, I, I was thinking about the... Well, don't forget, as an elf, I, uh, I, have, the, I have a better ability, ability to detect, detect secret or concealed, concealed doors. I, can I also can see up to 60 feet, feet in darkness. I, I could tell if it's flat or if it's sloped. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
You're, you're, no, no, we came out of 27. So you're the lower left-hand corner. Going north. Going north. Oh, okay. okay. You've Got just it. passed 27 around the corner. Going up, going up, going up the road. That's Can right. we see anything past that? Hey, Joel. Uh, if you click, if you hold on the shift button and click on that circle, it'll show it uh, a little. A, an area. From, it'll show Mikey exactly where we are. If I hold on shift on the keyboard, press the shift button. Okay. Keep, click where click click where you want Mikey to see. What click that circle. Did it work? What no, order of tab? Click that circle. So click and, and then move the mouse to, great to the circle oh. where you want Mikey to see. Your mouse is not going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's Adam's mouse. <laughs> now, now hold on to shift key. Hold on click for a second. Press any key. I can't find the any key. Huh. We don't see that. I why red? Thirsty. Hey, hey, Marge. I just to be so proud of people. I don't know. You're the GM, right? Yeah, he should be. We should be seeing it. All right. It's okay. Mikey knows where we are. We're on the left-hand side button. Or is it right click? Yep. I got it now, guys. We're good. Okay. Uh, at the Mike, at the top there is a wall. Oh, the, the, the okay. Beyond, this is a wall. Yeah. So it's a slab. There's a ring. It's made out of some kind of metal. You said bronze. Bronze. And is it the sort of thing you can fit a couple of fingers? Or no, is it, it sounds like you can stamp people in. Is, is it in, in, in the a great big, There's a big slab, and there's a great big ring attached to the slab. Is is the slab flat on the ground or yes. did, okay? Flat what the was it's like what a summoning was, circle? What was in room 27? Oh, it's a slab with a ring around like this. Inside, yeah. I thought it's a slab with a three ring giant, like this. Yeah, and then you could like pull out. I grab one of the shrews, like and then I bring it back okay. and I throw it into the portal. The shrews are all bloody pulp. And they rotted after two years. Were they, <laughs> were they tamed? So that's <laughs> what they looked like before. So is there no some change? object I could carry around and then put into the portal? <laughs> or put into the brass ring? Here. In the brass ring? I've got a dart. You want a dart? Uh, Why don't we take some how food? About, we have foodstuffs. Put a little piece of food. You know what I mean by brass ring? I like, okay. A little level. Oh, so hang on. So it looks like I've taken off my wedding ring. I've put it on my phone. Upwards, balanced. So it looks like this. It's in the yeah. ground, upwards. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I was picturing it was built into the ground like a portal. See that, Mikey? Like Dresden would have. So, like, when, uh, when you move heavy concrete things, and there's a ring so you can, like, hook it with the crane yeah, and then lift it. Look up above it for the block and tackle. Yeah, exactly. Look at the ceiling above the ring. We'll look at the floor below so the ring. So it's a handle, Mikey. It's a full handle, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Or it could be, like, a trap door that no, you pull open no, to get no down to the next level. Nobody any traps there. Okay. I was going to say, Joel, about 10 feet away, it's just a solid wall. 20 feet away, yeah. The, the corridor ends at a wall. Is, is there... So the string is just sitting. Is there a, like, is there? Does it look like if we pulled up, it'll it'll come up? Is there is there like a, a, a yeah yeah? It looks it's a, sla a stone slab, so it's probably gonna be kind of heavy. Nice. Is, there, is there anything above it that we can hook a rope to? No, no need. No. I slip my staff. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, 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 don't do it yet. The, don't uh, do it yet, it, sir. It pretty much is the entire uh, width of the. The stone slab. Uh, okay. Figures Garden. about, three, figures about four feet wide right and four feet long. Is it like going down to the corner? I don't feel a slope at all. No slope. I'm worried, Master. I don't feel a slope. I want to slip. I want to. Wait, Master. What if you open that ring and something comes out of the wall and crushes us or does something bad to us? Then you stand in front of me. Press. That is your role as an apprentice. Like a stone. <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> for <clears throat> I want to slide my staff before, through it. Before you do that, we should inspect the end of this hall. Like a stone, uh, like do you want to cross past it? Yeah. Uh, Wait. Not everyone can Not, slip their. Maybe staff one into or it. two people go back. Can we? <laughs> is there a door around the corner? We can just we started. And we already have analysis paralysis. This is I'm, great. I'm worried that, like, I don't know, a pit's How far have we gotten? <laughs> a a uh, boulder's gonna roll wonder, out. Wonder, at wonder us. monster. Yeah. Wonder monster. Every, every minute that you guys you know sit and discuss do? something, when it's coming down the wonder monster roll. Just duck and let it go over. So I want to stick my staff through, and then see if I can just use it as a lever. To lift it up. I think we should look for uh, look for hidden doors. You do that. I, I didn't see the traps around it. We can get, get, get past it. Yeah. Yeah. What, Mikey? Okay, you go ahead. I actively look for I'll let you roll. Why am I rolling 2d6? What, Mikey? He rolls for you. Is it big enough to get more than one step through the loop? That, that would, would probably be better. better. Joel said it's like four feet across. Yep. Yep. I want to mix those. Uh, Elric is going to get more leverage that way, right? To look out for any monsters. He's going to keep watch. Alright, so the elf 
Jesus. And I, I'm checking for the ring to the end of it. Elf finds a secret door. Hey! You're welcome. All right, I guess we open the secret door. Who goes first? I'm we still. I'm going to still ring stand watch. The secret door. Here's well. Okay, now the elf goes first. Since we're on each side of the secret door, why don't we slide something through? Something on each side. Can we pick up the ring. Sure. You got that, Joel? How yeah, about we... But I want to make it clear that you, know, you can just pick it up. I understand. No, the point is not, not to actually okay. touching the ring. Okay. What about a rope master? Then you don't have to be as close. But then we, we don't have the upward mobile. We can just have more people pull one room. I am ready uh, in the northern direction if anything comes uh, I'll be on the far side of the corner. The what are, what are you All right, so we're trying to the handle. Dwarf. Little one. Watch who's this. doing it? Who's doing the, who's Mikey, you want to help with lift the handle? Who's the strongest? I got a sixteen. I think Ashley I had a thirteen. I believe Ashley had a seventeen strike. Can we do it with a rope? You got a seventeen. I have seventeen. Seventeen over oh that's right, you superhuman. Okay, with the two of them Four working together. It's pretty close. It's it's pretty heavy, but it lifts up. Okay. And we push the slab to the side and slide it to the, the side. side and there's a ladder that goes down. Oh. Decisions, decisions. An iron ladder. Let's put it back in place. Yeah, we put it back in place to finish this level, then we'll come back to it. Yeah, because last time we tried to fully complete the floor, it worked out so well. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember the module. It wasn't. We never problem. leave things behind. We never want something to sneak up on behind. Last time, last time we said, let's just protect this one room. We almost DPK'd. All right, let's let's see what's <laughs> yes. behind the secret let's, door. Let's go behind the secret door. This was two years ago. We did this. It's right? a it secret wasn't door. this. It was something even before. It's a this. secret door. There's gotta be something cool behind it. Totally. Mm -hmm. All right, so who opens the door? Do you smell? It's supposed to be a bubble gum. Hi, I did go. Thank you, Mikey. Okay, so... I'll check for traps on it, and I open the door. There's no traps. You get through it pretty, pretty well. Oh, nice, Joel. Uh, excuse me. Uh, you see a... a room like this. Yeah, I hate that we have to see the numbers, sorry. Yeah, oops. Oh, well. I, you can only do so much. Well... The, the elf, is it the elf? The elf thinks he sees some traps where the 26 A's are. Hmm. I think I see some traps on the 26 A's on the map. So this floor of the long, narrow room has a red and white checkered pattern of two by two squares. Court scenes are painted on the Ooh. north and south walls. In the east wall, there is a two foot high opening at floor level near the southeast corner. I cast levitate and so float over the whole floor. So that's a two foot wide, or two foot high ceiling. The rest that's of it's the regular okay. twelve feet, four feet high. Hey dwarf, you're you little. This, Go crawl into that hole. I I see if I notice anything about the uh, the slope or the makings of this area. You really you really try to use that. <laughs> We've got one trick. <laughs> Wait a minute! I just take my staff and I poke one of the red tiles. Uh, I stand back in the hallway. <laughs> when he does that. I'm still down at the bottom by yeah, 27 watching, keeping the look there, there, Nothing happens tapping any of the tiles that are immediately around you. What does it take to disarm a trap? You, the dwarf can tell that the uh, blocks here appear to be less stable than uh, the rest of the area, the, the rest of the tier. So if we prod the ceiling, will things fall perhaps? Guys, I think this area is less stable than where we just were. <laughs> Thank you. Elric produces a worn, tattered journal and flips it open to the middle somewhere and says, Only the righteous man may pass. <laughs> <laughs> penitent. 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 That's right. Only the penitent man. Penitent. Penitent. Penitent, penitent man kneels before God. Kneel. Jehovah. <laughs> the idiot. <laughs> and Greek <coughs> darkness so so with an eye. <laughs> we are All right, so, so, so I think I'm going to take a leap of faith. These walls up, up top. Yep, like it's just a two by uh, Ducat, ten foot room. You caught hear some noise coming from the southern corridor. Where we came in. Yeah, where you came in. Peek. Oh, that, you mean Elric? Uh, we closed. Uh, we closed the secret door. No, it's down there by twenty-seven. Yeah. Well, we closed the secret no, door. No, no, no. This is where we have ranged attacks, and we can just take out whatever's coming at us. <laughs> All right, fine. So you have the door open. You're peeking. We, we, have, we have the door partially slightly open. The minimum amount open necessary to see what's down the hall. Can we and, so, and meanwhile, Efron is standing uh, about there. Who, who's looking up with the an door? arrow? Not Ashley. Ashley sees a hobgoblin walking up the uh, corridor. 
Uh, wouldn't I see him since I'm standing at the corner? By You're still back down there? Yeah, yeah. yeah oh, so you're going to well, take he thought everybody was up, up with us. I was standing just, watch. Uh, I thought you so, would come in with so us. So we got a hobgoblin strolling up the, oh. the corridor. Can, can I shoot? Do you want range. To... Every, all ranged attackers move to the front of the... Uh, like the ranger? Should we capture him and then pry him for information? And he stops at the... Uh, Does he have thumbs? He stops at the ring hmm. and, and is, is trying to open it. Just trying to open it. Yeah, he, he's not as strong as you guys, so it's it's Prisoner. gonna take him a, a bit of an effort. Prisoner. But he um, he clears he clearly seems to know where he's going. All right, I, I think we we all step out with our bows pointed at him, and, and maybe he wants to join our party. <clears throat> Do we ever think of that? Mm-hmm. All right, oh. everybody who has a, a melee weapon will stand in the, in the secret doorway as we open it, or a ranged we, weapon. Yeah, got we, him. Oh, a ranged weapon, and we will yeah. threaten him. Okay, you know it's just one hobgoblin, right? right? The point is we want to threaten him to capture him through interrogation. By the way, I think the elves have racial hatred against goblins. I speak goblin. Or do I hate goblins? Because you hate them. I think you speak the language of your own. No, you see it, yeah. It's, 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 it's kind of because you hate them. Right? I so, know a guy whose whole family... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he was got killed by... He was a goblin. Dwarfs don't count. Alright, so how are, how are we handling this? I, I think I think we open the door, everybody with a weapon on them. You want to skip get... an arrow past them? Well, I yell loudly. Hmm, that'll do it. You yell loudly. What do you Joe, yell? I think this one is broken. My yeah, intimidate is plus two. two. Alright. So you roll, roll, roll your intimidate plus a d6. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he yells, you don't, don't, don't he yells something. With, if, does anybody speak hobgoblin? I speak hobgoblin. He recognizes it as a series of hobgoblin curses. And he is. I was gonna say, he's just gonna run away, guys. He's, he's running back down the hall. We Fire. shoot to scare him. Chase, Chase him stop. down. Tell him to stop, Adam. I, I yell at Hobgoblin, stop if you want to live. And he keeps running. I, I, right. sh- I loose an arrow at him. Alright, he's 60 <coughs> feet away from you. Can you shoot 60 feet? I don't fucking What's know. What's the range of your longbow? It's a. Longbow range 60, is. 60, 120. 40, 80. Something double. Fire rate 2. Range small is 7. I have no idea what seven represents. <laughs> is it squares? It's probably a squares handbook. But not all squares are the same. Some are ten, some are five. Squares are ten, squares are ten, ten by ten. ten. So, yeah. Oh, they're oh, ten for by a ten? small, medium, or large creature. Oh, small. Oh. Yeah, well, it's seven, fourteen, or twenty-one. We just need to find out what the range is. I think Josh is on it. And I'm just checking my... Pl- Character sheet to see if it's here. You know, there's no index in this book. <laughs> <laughs> you using the good one? Oh, I got it here. Uh, range for a longbow. A composite longbow is 60, 120, and 210. For I, sh- I have a basic. Medium. All right, so I have one, a 120. This is a medium sized creature. Okay, so it's a normal to hit? Okay. You got time to get two shots off before he's going to be out of range. I know. Unless he stops. I'll take them both. Uh, first one? Uh, you do. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, because I have plus 4 written here. I don't know why. So if, if he falls under the 120, no, dex plus racial. it's minus 2. If it's short range, 60 or less, it, there's no penalty. If it's 61 to 120. He's exactly, he's 60 feet away, as well said. Okay. <laughs> so, okay, so I have a 13, which I don't know if, I don't know if that's a hit or not. Do you add, did you add 4? I did add 4. Nice job. <clears throat> he will. That hits. Joe will tell you. So okay. The, the, the arrow. Manages to nick him, well not nick him, it, it, it impales his leg. Ooh, and you hear him but cry out in pain. Painful. Thank you. You roll for damage. Okay, uh. Don't kill him, don't kill him. Hold on. 1d8. Plus? It doesn't say. Uh, you should have five. Face, oh, that's long sword. Long boat, I don't have damage on the long boat. I don't think there's a damage modifier. Arrow. Arrow is 1d6. Yeah. Okay. No, so. no damage modifier. Unless you get a composite, then you add your strength as a, as a modifier. Three. Yeah, and what, what's the Hobgoblin's name? Hobby. Uh, I was going to say Bob, Bob the Hobgoblin. What? I don't know. Bob flows. It's not, it really oh, has nothing hey, to do I with you. Okay. It. Uh, uh, you what? You shot him in the leg. His name is Gippy. Gippy. <laughs> okay, and, Gippy. and what, what about your second arrow? Uh, well, if I hit him with the first, do I, do I have to shoot full. the second one before I see if the first one hits? Okay. Yeah. They're both being launched. At uh, 14. Can. 14. That hits. Uh, and I'm rolling another d6. Where does that 8 go? I'm not used to having so many dice out, guys. <laughs> do they have dice with 20 sides, I don't? 
<laughs> Four. So the second shot hits him square in the back. He plays out on, onto the floor, his arms waving to all the humanity, and falls. But he says it says Hobgoblin, right? Or does he say, oh, the goblinity? Yeah. Hobgoblinity. Hobgoblinity? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Hobgoblinity. He's my pennies? You can get the penny for that. I owe him those from work. I told him I was going to get the whole seat for bread from work. Or, I don't or, remember what I said. Or that's a good and a good bad thing. I don't want to open them and, and all is silent again. Search the body. Yes. Take away his weapons. If he's got any. All right, so you, you find his um, short wooden sword. <laughs> that's perfect against vampires. Mm. We have somebody to walk through the room. And small children. We could drop he's him. In. We could drop him in a trap. We could roll him and drop him. I thought he was just unconscious. No, he's dead. His small oh, he's particle dead. board wooden did sword. I didn't try to kill him. Sorry, I'm so good. All right, let's bring duct tape handle. Let's bring his body. We drag him back in the, in, the, in, the, in the passage we were. I don't in. like you. And we roll his body over the areas yeah. we thought were. I throw his body. Although I think I played the same character. Throw his body. I'll hang out with you guys, but I don't want to hang out. Same you have strength. You have throwing skill. Plus two. Okay. I do okay, remember well, her. I thought you had a deep throw. So where are you, where are you throwing them? You know, like here, here. No, we're up here. We're, we're throwing it right at the twenty-six. In the twenty-six room. Twenty-six A. Yeah. So where are you throwing them? Twenty-six A, the first one on the left. This one. Sure. Can I stand okay, roll, roll dexterity check. It's good Next, he's a mountain of muscle. Ten. Plus. I have a dexterity of fifteen. What's your modifier? Uh, no modifier for a dex of 15. Yeah. I really? Think. I don't think there's a modifier for a dex. It's just a minus for AC. So a pendulum comes swinging down Thanks. from the ceiling and <laughs> chops the hobgoblin in half. Now we can trap, do the other two traps with the two and halves of hobgoblin. It, it swings back. You notice that it's got some green goo, goo on it. Ooh. Is that from the hobgoblin? Swings back again. Joel, I no, think it's, oh, in the back, it's in the back of the module. There's a picture of it. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure that's poison. Yeah, I, I just realized Somewhere that. Somewhere in the module. Is that it? Yeah. Huh? Oh, well. I haven't noticed it today when I looked at the module. Oh, very good. I never noticed that. Holy crap. That is horrific. Wow. Hey, good news, like Adam said. Show Mike. Now we have two parts of the body to throw in the next two parts. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, you see it? Hey, can you switch to Google Hangouts so people watching... Yeah, I got it. Too? Oh, it's pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Let's see, Josh. Hang on one second. Oh, oh that's his thumb. There you there go. That looks horrific. That probably would take too long. That is perfect. Yep. So a after about three or four swings, the, uh, the blade moves back up to the ceiling. And, oh, so it reset and itself. You hear, you hear a click and, and it, it disappears. Are we able to recognize other places in the ceiling where the pendulums will come down? Can. Well, I thought we, we detected I the tracks. I'm there. trying to give him an out. Okay. I looked to see on the floor if the floor looks any different where I threw the hobgoblin's corpse. Well, other than the hobgoblin hob 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 corpse? Goop. You don't notice any change or any different. Right. Not, not many of those spots. I grab what, what half is closest to me? <laughs> <laughs> the right half. Hmm. Oh, he was split lengthwise? I was picturing yeah. split crosswise. Uh, I use... Who's got a hook and tackle? Anybody? Fishing line? Okay. I got a, I'm sure we all have a rope. We lasso a pole back. I, I, and I, I, I throw it again on there. All right, roll dexterity. 13 this time. All right, so it, it lands in the, uh, the square, and the pendulum trap comes down from the ceiling again, and kind of. Can we jam out a pole? Again, but it just kind of chops, chops them up. Because it's going back and forth. Can somebody uh, put a javelin into the side to see if it stops? We, we don't have uh, anybody carrying 20 javelins. I've got somebody had 10 iron spikes. Oh. Ashley jumps on the closest pendulum and grabs the other one it's as they go covered by. covered in poison. On, on top. Covered with goo. It's covered oh, with... I oh, I thought it was just the blades. No, no, look at that picture. Look at the picture. It's like it's the, covered with goo. the half... Oh, the arm... The, 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 the bar is covered with goo. Because that makes sense, you know? I grab the... I blame TSR. I grab the... the Goblin's you wooden sword, and I stick it yeah, no, into the wall. It's wooden sword. 
uh, where the blade's coming out of. So the blade's swinging this way, yeah. and I stick the hobgoblin sword into here to try to stop it. It's coming from the ceiling. But it's got a... S- it's a pendulum. It's coming down the ceiling. from the ceiling. Uh, oh, you know, we could take the grate, the, that metal thing that's covering so the, what was in room the stairway 27? down. Hey, guys, I got a crazy idea. What was in room 27? So go back there and rob the pipe. That was just... where the, the shrews were. And, and there was a pile of or, 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 um, a shrews nest. Or we could just not step on the problem is if it's, if it's so the 10-foot can can area, you can get through there. it's only 5 foot. Uh, it's not even hit the ground. We could just crawl underneath it and be fine. Yeah. Diagonally. Uh, uh, we can we can get. By. Can we do that without without issue without concern of setting the trap off? Probably. All right. Let's just we're just we, gonna we roll very our, carefully wind our way for the. There. Everybody for has the to make a dexterity check at plus four. Uh, make, sure, make sure somebody. Is that a dare? Or no, I'll see you. With that. Well, wait. We don't all have to go. We Fifteen. should just send the dwarf to crawl into the hole. He is. He's better saving us poison too. Yeah. Mm. Just make the dwarf. Okay, dwarf. I rolled a fifteen. <coughs> so put your dexterity. Fifteen. All right, add four. Now your dexterity is nineteen. So you. I rolled an eleven. I rolled an eleven. Oh. oh. Okay. I rolled an eleven plus four. Wait, the lower your dexterity, the greater the chances. You have That's to get, what I'm seeing here. Yeah. You have to get under your dex. Yeah, sure. You have to get under your dex. Oh, lower is bad. 20, oh, you did. Twenty bad, one good. Yeah. Well, he got oh, under okay. his dex. His dex is a nineteen. He rolled an eleven. Yeah. Well, nineteen. That's why it's yeah. plus, yeah. plus four. You, He's you been succeeded. playing 5e. It's okay. okay. Every, everything it's okay. goes up there. It's okay. <laughs> You're doing all right, buddy. All right. I grab the legs. Of there, me. There's no more hobgoblin. <laughs> uh, from the first half. First carcass. Obliterate. Can I grab the second half and throw it on 26a in the south middle? You, that's what you just thought. Yeah. I thought no, you, you were okay, trying just, to go just across get through there. there. Just you get you were just trying to get past there without triggering the trap. <laughs> that first thing did that one. All right. So the pendulum's on both? You're, you're just walking through without stepping on those tiles. And you, you seem to think, based on the design of the ceiling, that th- this is probably the same type of trigger. Guys, I think there may be a third one. Okay, you gonna, go get how through about it. you just don't step I'm on gonna that? Brave. I'm going to roll low. Just don't crawl in the Which hole. Which I'm not good at, unless... I'm going to pretend I'm here not attacked. Only, here comes his only 20 tonight. I know. 18. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> Natural 18. <laughs> what, were you, what were you doing? You're, you're I was checking the for traps. There. I was flinging the hobgoblin's corpse. I thought this was all predicated upon we're going to have him walk across without stepping know, on the trap You don't tiles. know your own strength, so it ends up over here instead and kind of falls apart. All right, would, I, you, would you just clear across already? Just I'm going to go southwest, southeast so of where I am. Do a dexterity check. I have to do another one? Yeah. This is insane. What you just did was because you were tossing the hobgoblin. All right. Now you're walking again. Nine. Yay. Okay, so you here, easily hop over here. All right, I search the area looking for secret doors, and I go to the... Look for, the, look for this lever that turns off the traps. <laughs> Adam likes that. So <laughs> it, you, you said this area is two feet lower or two feet higher? That's why I have an It's a two feet, feet entryway. I'm smarter than the sword. There's two feet? I think so. I think you have to, like... Sorry. Normal people would have to crawl. You would have to, like, bend over. Just the walk. Water. Yeah, just walk. I have a 13. So that, that's where you search. Mm-hmm. You didn't search over here. You didn't search no, not here. yet. You All right, so let's search everywhere. everywhere. We search everywhere that we can. Well, I thought, wait. I'm looking at the end there. Anything? This this is where the two foot high. high yeah. Yes, but yeah. I'm looking right around the, the regular 26 to see if there's a way to turn off the lever. There's, we didn't even see if there were levers to turn things well, off. Well, he's already over there. Let him crawl in the hole. But maybe we can all go with him. I'm not going in that dirty hole. That's what we have dwarfs for. <laughs> I look around the area 26. Okay. I'm still keeping watch down in the corner of 27. <laughs> so you... I'm a half elf. Yeah. Whatever that does. It, does that give you anything for searching <laughs> secret doors? Hey, no, we all I have... search as well. We all have packs. One of us must have the javelin. Can you find pack. another secret door? Oh. Back out the way we came? Oh, no, a different way. Oh. 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 So I, I search, search for secret doors so along the opposite... Stuff. Nice, Joel. This kind of sucks. <laughs> Just because we can still see what we need to do. Mm-hmm. I searched for secret doors along the opposite wall where that Josh was searching. 
Too bad the whole background wasn't blue. I know. Hmm. Yeah, that would help a little bit, wouldn't it? I wish it had matched that. M- matted blue, like, would be uh, very difficult. Especially because it's scanned and it's not quite yeah, yeah, blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Specs of yeah that's what I mean. Like that. Well, that's all right. When you search the room, and all right. You know, there's blade traps. You know, there's a two foot high. Do we see any any mechanism to disable the blade traps? No. I'm searching the two foot high area. Uh, you could tell that what it is. It's a block that w- appears to have been sliding down, but did not slide down all the way. Whereas this one appears to have slid down, so it was some kind of trap. Mm. So one of them slid down. One of right. them. Right. One, one of them got st- looks like it, it's stuck. At least for Can I see beyond it? Shove a torch in there. You can see, you can see uh, space that ends in rubble. I take one of my javelins and kind of jam it in so it doesn't fall on me as I crawl through. So you jam the javelin and then you're crawling through. While he does that, we would like to go back and lift the hatch door, bring the, the, the big heavy slab of stone in with us, Trigger the first pendulum and, and have the, the pendulum smash into the slab and, and break the pendulum, ideally. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Joel's face was just priceless. <laughs> <laughs> Bob and I were like, I think we should do this. I was like, I was just thinking that. <laughs> I, I proposed it earlier, but. Uh, oh, I didn't hear you say it. Right. All right, so who's going to do that? We're, we're going we're gonna to drag it in there and just kind of. I help my master, of course. Well, we're gonna get the strong. Who's, who's I got a, I got a 16. Oh, 15. He's indisposed. I think you would. Ask I got a 16 and a 15 for AC, for AC, for, for strength. strength. Yeah. Okay. And I'm still standing watch. I think Ashley. I think Ashley's got like a 16 or 17. So Ashley, you throw it in. Okay. All right. So for every 10 feet, I want you to make a dexterity check to see if you drop it on your foot. <laughs> I don't know what Ashley's dex is, so I'm gonna roll for it. I'm going to roll 4d6. This isn't like carrying a, Drop a, a simple block of wood. No, but we're dragging it. We're not carrying it. <gasps> 15 for dex. That's almost as good as my 17 Write it down. dex. <laughs> I write it down. Anyway, my first one uh, was an 11, not a 4. All right. All right, so... Put dex next to that. <laughs> I'm in, I'm oh I roll a fucking 20. <laughs> I drop it on my foot. Okay. Take 1d4 damage. Oh, Be my guest. Take three damage. Oh, no, man. I, What's Ashley down to? 19. 19. Now She's that tougher than the average bear. Now, now that you're hobbling on one leg, let's just tie a rope around the fucking thing and pull it along. Fine. I'm going to roll the rest of my stats while we do that, too. Just dropping the lowest. We, we tie a rope around the ring and oh try to drag God. it. Okay. She's a superhuman. Uh, for She's got 17. Damn. That's going to be so super every, uh, yeah. every 10 fighter? feet. Charisma. Stop. Every How 10 you? feet that you drag it, you can roll a 1d6 on a 1. The rope breaks. Do we each need to roll, or just one of us? There's one rope, so... Okay, one well, I was, okay. So I'm making this How many better. more? We got uh, one, yeah, two, nine, three, nine. four, five more. Intelligence. <laughs> one. Is it two? Okay. Two. Five. Three. Six. Four. Two. I mean, switch it up a bit. Five. All right, so you managed to drag it in front of the, the yes. pendulum spot. Yeah. Yeah, which uh, hey, kind of... <laughs> yeah, you might want to... Stand it up? I don't know how we do Now how are you going to get it onto the spot? You stand we it stand up. it up we on the opposite on the wall. Spot. We stand it up on the opposite wall, and then we trigger it by throwing somebody's pack. Dead, we push it, we dead push dead it with the, We push it with the staff. With the staff. Yeah. Because, I mean, you realize that the pen, the pendulum will swing across the two squares. Yeah. That's just the square that triggers it. Right. Yeah. So they we, we, we put it. We want to put this. We want to put the big giant rock or, or, or slab where the pendulums cross so they will smash into it and ideally break. Then we don't have to worry about oh, so ever we again. Have, we want to put it, like, here. Wherever, I don't know yeah. exactly Opposite where, 26A. Switched. Opposite 26A. And then we want to trigger it. There's three 26As. It. No, in the, in the middle. In the space right in the across. Middle. The middle is the yeah. low point. Right. So the low point. Mm-hmm. No, you're saying in between in between the two. No, no. I want the two blades to do the this the and smash into blade. it. Mm-hmm. So to smash into it and break. So we have to stand it up in the middle of the hallway yeah. and then trigger the trap without getting hit by it. That's right. No, push it. Slide slide the block in. Yes. We're just going to slide it in. And then trade. Tra- how, uh, how are we going to do that from one end? <laughs> we just push it in with our push. 
Yeah, you just push it that. in. How do we keep it from doing this? Because it's five feet. It's huge. It's, it's much huge. It's we can barely get them out. It's got to be at least three or four inches thick. Oh, okay. Thick. Well, you you can, if it fell on your foot, it's so hard that, to move. Like it's got to be massive. Okay. Yeah. And then we trigger the trap. Which but we can just do. We can just crawl. We can crawl. We can go along the side of the wall where it's going to swing down. We'll get the cat to do it. Just throw something. Yeah. All right. This. this You're not. Mephistopheles is not doing that, master. This is the way we're going to see if you succeed or not. Whoever is doing it has to make a dexterity check at minus two. I'll give you a plus one for each additional person that works at doing it, but each person has to make the dexterity check. Well, I think that I am the reigning de my, my, dex. What's your dex? dex so if one of you fail, then that person gets whacked. Dex is a 17. Oh. You and me have got a 17, Mike. You guys if are one fast. of you fail, then you trigger the trap, and then you're going to have to see if you can get out of the way. Well, we, we want to trigger the trap. Well, before you get out of the way. Why can't, okay, you, gotcha. wait, can't you just throw something so you don't have to risk yourselves? I know. Why are we trying to make Cause sure may, the trap? Because maybe us pushing it into position, you might be getting close to the trap. Seems Can we just push it into position with our stats? Can we go get that giant boulder and boulder all the way down 4,000 feet? And <laughs> really, I will, because you know I'm stupid. I feel like a little uh, curved ramp here, so it just... Rolls this way. There's enough of us. It's, like a, there. it's a team building exercise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, do we? Do you guys really need to risk yourselves to do this? Like, can't we just put some ropes around it and then, like, Dargan can pull from his side, we can pull from that side, and then just. All right. So this is taking a couple turns. So what are you doing in the? Sorry. <laughs> in the meantime, it just doesn't seem I'm, I'm over. I'm really through. Well. I crawled underneath. Can we just take a so look? As you are crawling underneath, it's sometimes it's nice you hear a lot of serious creaking. Although I think I'm a little more flexible at this point now. Guys, I might be done here. I might it's be going a, home. What just happened? It's okay, a stack. so you get to the other side. You're, you're okay. Oh. And <laughs> you only have one javelin holding up that two tons of rock. I'm sure it's more than two it's tons. It's been held up for years. <laughs> so, it'll, of course, it's going to fall right when you're hungry. What are the chances? Yeah, you're right. It's not going to fall. Never mind. You're fine. <laughs> so, that's that's what you see. Alright, well, it looks like nothing over here. I crawl back. <laughs> no, I don't crawl back. <laughs> I, I search the area is that a for any kind mic? of secrets. Bless you. You, can, you can tell yes. that these are Bless stone you. blocks that came down, but they, they fell and they crumbled. So, oh, the ones on the other side, too? On the eastern side? Well, this, well, this, this, this is rubble up to, the, you know, up to the, 10 feet. Did you, you put the batteries in the right way? All, yes. all the way to the ceiling. Can you I clear can, any up? Yeah, yeah, it can be cleared. I take any big here. pieces and I put them under the. You under don't find you don't find any two, two foot long pieces. None of the, all the rubble. No. Okay. I'll tell you if that. And if, if you did, would you really be able to lift it? You know, you're a dwarf. Yeah. I guess you could. Seventeen strength. Seventeen strength. Yeah. <laughs> I look for any big ones and I put them underneath okay, the corner. So, so, so you're you're working on clearing that and yep. going back to these guys. Why don't we just take a staff and, and jam it into the tile that triggers a trap? Or a 10-foot pole. Yes. Yeah. Just something that can trigger it remotely. Or we get some heavy things from our pack and throw the pack on it. Yes. Are there loose rocks in the area? Just throw, you know, drop, don't drop a rock on Good. it. Good, nothing in our packs. This or the dwarf's has a skull. Hey. Now, all of a sudden you hear a, a really loud clicking sound coming from outside the secret door. The north spot, the secret door, or south spot, secret door? The south one. Actually, goes and peeks around. You see a uh, great big giant ant that, that that came out of the hole and is clawing at the it's door. At the door, we're at, we're behind. Yeah. Oh. Trap trigger. How? How? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How does the door open? I see you are very wise in the room, master. Shh. How does the secret door open? Is it open it's, in a, or out? it's a panel that slides. Oh, it's like a pocket door. Oh, like a star. Oh, so trick. all we have to do is open it this far and just jab shark things through to the inside. Perfect. How do we open it? Why don't we let it trigger the... That's what I'm saying. Why don't you guys hide in, up here? One person opened the door, and I can call it yes. to me over here. Yeah. And it'll say, have a why is there a giant piece of rock here? It's an ant. I love it. It's a giant ant. Why do you guys oh. now fate like that? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just jab it and kill it. I'm going to jab. We're, gonna, we're just going to open the door a little bit and jab it and still it's dead. Oh, Why don't we let the trap do yeah. the work? We All right. I don't have to roll anything. You can you jab it enough times. And Great. Now we drag it and we use it to trigger the trap. Don't have to make a dexterity <laughs> check. <laughs> now we drag it you and use it to trigger the trap. So you accidentally hit your head when you we're jab it. We're just going to beat you through that. Oh, we got to name the ant. <laughs> we got to name the ant. Anthony, Adam, <laughs> Anthony, Adam, 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 the ant. Adam, 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 Adam,
Anime Anime's Apple good, too. <laughs> I'd forgotten so, about you, this exercise. You get, your, you get your experience points. <laughs> if you don't name it, you don't get your experience points. Fair. 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 Point. Fair. Or we could do dead ant. 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 Okay, so back to the slab. Back to the slab. Okay, so we continue to use the infantry of the trap to break all three pendulums. Going forward. I know it's going to take a few minutes. How many people again? As many as it takes. As many as it can do it safely. Without touching the poison. Without remotely. Let me. Let me. Explain again. You got a slab. You're trying to put it in the spot that's going to trigger the trap. No, we're trying to put it between the traps. We, put, we, we, we want to put the slab where the trap is most deadly, so mm-hmm. that the, the pendulum swings yep. and hits that. Is the trigger in the exact same place, or is the trigger elsewhere? The trigger is in so 20, 26A. Right. And, and we're trying, trying to put, put it, it on, on the line that straddles between. So we so we put it two inches. Onto the 26A side. Yeah, we, if we you want the maximum range, you got to get it right in the middle. Yeah, we could be off by two inches. I mean, you told us it was five. It was a five foot thick. Yeah. It's massive. We it's saw the picture. Thing. It's still going to go into I'm the other just space. You, your best chances are to get it dead center. See. If yes, you're that's okay the plan. with not getting dead center, then no, if we want to get it dead break. center in the hallway, right? That, that that was always if the it plan. misses the first time, we'll just keep doing it until it breaks. That's all. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll we'll welcome to my hell. Okay, so welcome to my GM hell. So who's doing it? All, as many people as can do it to as many as Yeah, because all, all we're doing, we haven't stood up on the edge, we're just There's trying to push it in the safe. So, 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 so the magic is just stand back. I am not doing it. <laughs> that, that's yeah, why I said there's seven. Right. A- a- Ashley and El- Efron. And whatever Mikey's character. Zach. Zach LD. So if there's three and of you, then all, all make your dexterity check at plus one. Where, where, oh, to, so it doesn't fall the on our. Starting arm. point was minus two. Three of you will get plus three bonus. So she has a dex of 15, and I rolled a 2. I rolled a 6 out of an 18. I rolled a 12 out of 14. Which All right, so you're, you're successful. You, you put it down and trigger the trap and uh, quickly jump out of the way. So congratulations. This is the second time, right? This is the second one or the first? The first trap or second trap? This is the, I don't, I don't I thought this was the second first. trap. This is the trap. first yeah. trap right here. You're triggering it for the second time now. Okay. So the trap comes down again, and the um, blades chop into the um, brass ring really good and manages so to, to smack the heck out of the brass ring. But does it Is that what you wanted to do? No, I wanted to stand the thing up so the pendulum was smashed into the giant piece of stone. Yeah, like, if, if, this is our, break. Yeah. if this is the slab... Were you using any kind of brace to keep the stone slab up? How thick, how thick is it? If we could barely pick it up, it had to be pretty thick. It's really heavy. I mean, if, if we had that, it'd be pretty easy to keep. It's only two inches. Yeah. So, the, so the pendulum comes down and just knocks it over and swings back up. Oh, okay. so, so there were two pendulums that would hit it. Oh, I see. That. The picture said two pendulums. <laughs> okay, they... So that's what we're doing in the middle. Give you, let's give you you are so shot. enjoying <laughs> this. I, I take this meeting every two weeks. It's <laughs> kind of nice thing. I almost feel bad. I don't see what the... Almost, but not quite. I don't see where the harm okay, is. Okay, the, the yeah. two of them do hit the slab. Now the slab's going to make a saving throw. How much damage does the slab take? Yeah. Where's the saving throw? Which has more hit points? What's his AC? It's the fact that the slab. Be in front of you. <laughs> no, the saving throw's in there somewhere. Bottom, middle, middle table. Middle. Does, does the stone well, have to save versus poison? Is that what we're rolling? <laughs> Here we go. Okay, it could be an acid base poison. Non magic items. This is all stone. This is stone. Eventually. Against a crushing blow. Seriously, what they have like? that in the lookup sheet? That's you amazing. Got, you think I'm making this up? Yes. Yes. Just so <laughs> that's that's incredible. incredible. So clear on the level. You guys can even watch. That is amazing, Joel. Stone. Crushing blow. Attack form. 17, I think it is. Three. No, nope, it makes the saving throw. No, so it fails the saving throw. You want to roll over. The saving throws are over. That's Wait, right. The saving throw yes. versus what? Uh, versus no crushing no, no, on a stone? Against a crushing blow. Yeah, yeah lower okay. is better. So, it, so. For saving throws, you want to roll over. I'll give you the die. No. That, that so the stone, the stone shatters like you guys had hoped. 
I don't know what exactly what you accomplished by doing that, but no, no, no. We had hoped to break the pendulum so we could go help Jeff. We could break the trap. Well, so the stone, yeah, I the think stone you've got a saving there. throw. Okay, a seventeen saving throw for a piece of stone. You got to roll under that. That can't be rolling over. That's insane. Because what stone would be like glass? It'd break all the freaking time. Well, the way savings were. Anyway, Jeff, what are you? Let's move on to Jeff. Freaking glass. I'm still clearing rubble. You got to get under that number. So right now you're saving throw. I don't know if you have it here. I got uh, PPD is 13. Pet Poly is 14. I would think you'd want to save for the metal later, or the. The 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 are we still on one. this? I thought we moved past it. But whatever, we are the DM, whatever you want. Do I see anything in my area? Am I and as clearing you it out still? Levels, that 16 goes down to 12. I like saving throws. And, 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 and uh, dexterity too. Yeah. Nice try. Okay. I just, I just think that, that my Betty's is going home. I can, <laughs> I can basically punch a piece of stone, and I see the good chance of breaking it. Crushing blow. Okay, so maybe I would need to use a mace. Hmm. So you you managed to clear away enough rubble to see this. Okay, now you can take the pieces of the slab to fill in that space underneath the, <laughs> the rock. I tried. He said there was no two foot thick ones. No, no, for the slab. Oh, the one that, that just got broken? You asked about that? Bob, how could you with your hammer? Maybe when the pendulum comes by, you could swing it and try to try to change it. <laughs> You guys are a little obsessed with this pendulum. Well, we want to get by safely. If we're in a. All right, do I see anything? Well, he just tiptoe from one one stone to another. Yeah, he had like four dexterity checks to get by. <laughs> Joel's demonstrating. At a minus four, he had to like. You could trigger him and then time it. This is not Star Trek mode Galaxy Quest. Literally. Take seven people yes. times four <laughs> dex checks. And the blade once again. Clicks up on the ceiling. Someone will get leaving a shattered the pieces of perfect. What is it? What is the the arm made out of? Is it wood? Uh, the arm must be made out of out of, out of metal as okay. well because it would have broken out of the stone. It is coated in green also, so that doesn't help. Oh, okay. <gasps> I was thinking it was acid, it was poison, but maybe it's green slime. Or light it on fire. Maybe it's what they do for bird feeders when squirrels try to climb up and they just can't. And they, they go eat some. Like vas Vaseline. Well, you can. No, no. <laughs> No, it's probably it's poison. Right, it wasn't on the blade. Poison. Yeah, it was not. All right, yeah, Jeff, what do you got? Let's just move on. Yeah, let's let Jeff get through his stuff. Anyway. So what? You know what you see is. Uh, Mikey, do you want to tip very through narrow narrow Jeff? Way now. I look. Yeah, I, I, I would be happy. To do that. Okay, Mikey's right. going to try to tip through through and join Jeff so he has some backup. So we can lose our cleric. I'm going to go back to the corner by 27 and uh, keep so watch. He, it, it just starts um, kind of weaving Did we around. Think that, uh, I'm looking for you, traps. You can, you can you tell that it. some blocks just didn't fall right, or some blocks have kind of broke. Hey, hey Joel, it's like Tetris. Mike, he's going to tiptoe over there to join Jeff, so what does he have to do to get, to get there? Just do your dexterity check plus two twice to, for the two diagonals. So you have a 17 points. dex, so you have to roll under 19. 19 don't, roll, or under. don't roll a 20 and you're fine. Or 19. Really impossible for you to fail. I rolled an 8 and a 12. Okay, nice. so, so you now, Jeff, now there's the two that. foot... Two foot tall passageway that uh, the dwarf already went under. And I put some stuff underneath it. The biggest pieces I could, I put underneath it. Yeah, that'll so stop that great big heavy stone block above your head. Yeah. Well, that, if it well, doesn't we get don't, but the stone has an a saving a saving yeah, stone it versus 17. So any, it should just break into pieces. It doesn't have any momentum. It'll stay. Yeah. Anyway. Remember, it was creaking very much when you went under it. All right, so so Mike, you're you're gonna follow him under the under the block. Oh, that's right. My parents are. Yes. Right. That's why I didn't come. Okay, so yes, Joel, we'll follow him. We'll follow creaky, him. But you get to the other side, then you get to the rubble that uh, Jeff already cleared away, and 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 you join him. So I, I think okay. if I crunch the numbers right, let's say everybody is a 17 deck. Oh, just gonna go in the It's a 10 percent chance of failure times seven people compounding. Uh, I think it goes up to 47% chance that somebody, that somebody will fail. is going to fail. When you get a second Joel, we're going to peek into that North Secret door. So you're saying there's a Just chance? Just peek in there. <laughs> and if there's a chance, you or I are going to find it. And that's if everybody has a 17 dex. Yeah, which is generous. And you are the only I have a 17. Game. Mike has a 17. And that's it. I have a 15. Yeah, forget. Kevhorn has a 10. So do we hear the gas or whatever that was scaring us from the high? Kevhorn's uh, our 50% chance right there. That was the clicking. That was the yeah, from the south. Not, um. Not 
Are you going out into a hallway? No. no. Peaky yeah. peaky, but nothing else. No. Look, what's it feel? Well, I guess since you're... Periscope. Sideways. I guess since, since you're peeking, you can see that far. A mirror. Yeah. That means you still have to open the door. Okay. Yeah, we'll leave it be for now. We'll let you get, we'll get back to Jeff Mikey. Okay. Are we splitting the party? No. no. I've tried very hard not to do that. <laughs> so what turns us around the 25A? A ghostly... Yes, they're ghostly. <sighs> All right, they were like um, uh, ghostly haunts. Spookies. Does this look? Does this area that that uh, Mikey and I are in look like it was carved out, or does it look like no, there were no, blocks that fell they're, that they're, didn't fall? Your your uh, best yeah, surmise is yeah. that there are stones that come down to block the. You know the the long. It's a long ornate hallway. Yeah. And there, so they're um, either traps or they were purpose set up purposely to block. All right, we keep going, looking uh, carefully, in, checking in for traps. Uh, so tap a tap a tap a. Guys, you okay in there? Stay out of light. <laughs> <laughs> looking right. at the walls, looking you know, at the floor, looking at the charges. ceiling. So you're gonna go that through this. Yeah. So that's a narrow, twisted corridor. Only one person at a time can fit in. The other side, then the trap What's Mikey? Is he a clear? Just an angle. He's a thief. No, I'm a thief. Oh, Mikey goes first then. <laughs> I'll let him go. I can have Mephistopheles. I was waiting for you to figure that out. He's got night vision and good hearing as a cat. Yeah, we're not too bright, Mikey. You want the cat to go? Yeah, I, I, I've got that so far. Uh, you can, to me. Send the rat. Send the rat. Uh, master, forgive me, there is no rat in the party. That that thing that you call a cat? Ah, uh, you mean Mephistopheles? It's just a big, big rat just sat there. It's, it eats rats. That is quite true, Master. Yeah, just sat there. And, yes, uh, master. and you get to a door. <laughs> we look, listen, and feel carefully. Just do you? Okay. Yeah. If it chases you, you can run back and you can get killed. It's the same same as all the other doors you've seen. You don't hear anything inside. Mikey, you want us to try to come join you? What do you want? Joel, is that full height there? No more is a two-foot thing? Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think you guys can just stay there for right now. Okay. okay. And Joel, just a reminder that the cat, I guess, now is still with me on the corner down by 27 with night vision and uh, ability to hear if anything's coming. Okay. And he listens to you? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, it talks to me. So if there's like a giant rat that comes along, is he going to go chase the giant rat? He's got human level intelligence, so I Or if hope a dog comes along and barks, so is he going to run away? He's going to tell me to cast magic missile on the dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> human level intelligence. So Jules doesn't have human level intelligence with human animals. Got it. So dogs are nice <laughs> All right, Mikey, we go in the door? Yeah, I think we check the door. When we, we don't find any traps around it, I think we go in. Flails are blazing. There's 47 zombies on the other side of that door. Let's close that back door. So you're, you're into a, uh, another room. Another is, there, is this the bird room? Can you see if I can click the one trap? Joel? Sorry? This is the bird room? The bird? Bird. This is room 33. Yeah, that we got something. The bird room. <laughs> How do you call the bird room? Larry Bird. Give me a break. Oh my god. I'm out. I just, yeah. Well, actually, I don't know. All right, here, here's what you see. All right, Mikey, listen. This room contains I'm on two it. large sarcophagi. Both gleam with golden highlights. Woohoo! One sarcophagus is marked Alexander, the other is marked Zenobia. Surrounding the sarcophagi are a number of large wooden chests. The room is littered with broken objects. Two smashed thrones, a broken chariot, smashed pottery, broken weapons, and torn clothing. Piles of bones cover the floor. On the wall is a mosaic showing famous events from the reign of King Alexander and Queen Zenobia. Jackpot! Mikey, those bones worry me a little bit. They worry me a lot. 
You know what bones turn into in the uh, near the sarcophagi? Calcium. Dust? Yes. <laughs> Fertilizer. I think it's a really bad, I think it's a really bad idea to do anything without everybody in here. You want us to come through? I don't know if Kevin wants to do that. Because he's not the most nimble character. Well, they're setting it off and then they're checking to see if you got hit. It's actually two checks. Oh, that makes you feel better. So. Oh, wait. Kevin's not really. No, but he's our, he's our heel bot. Mikey, we have a bunch of stuff that we can grab and bring back and try to set off the traps and make it easier for them to get through. I, I, absolutely. I think that's a really good idea. Why don't we do that before we start messing with anything else? Just, Should we grab anything from I don't, the I don't, I don't like the idea of piles of bones at all, to be honest with you. So. so remember, you've only got a, a, a very narrow passageway to make your way through. So it's like the stones. It'd be very difficult to carry any, oh, okay. of, any size through there. You know, like, like a chair yet. Yeah. yeah, that's a fight. But we can't run away from that. I don't think I was going to carry a chariot out of here, but, you know, I'm sure that those sarcophagi are loaded with treasure. But there's no... Or, or horrible creatures. Yeah. Or, right, or that, or that. <coughs> oh, so, why, why don't you guys just open them up? You don't, you don't want me to wait for these other guys, do you? Hey, um, uh, Dearden. Dearden? What's, uh, Mikey's character's name? Eldin? Oh, Eldin. Uh, perhaps your sword had some thoughts on this. <laughs> well, Maybe the sword can detect what's in there. Yeah, can I use looking at objects? Undead. See invisible? Detect it detects invisible. And look I mean, it'll, it'll hum or it'll tell Mike if it sees anything, invi anything invisible there, but it's not. Oh, don't right forget, now. too, that it has a thirst for combat. Hmm. Indeed. So it might say, yeah, it's fine. Go ahead and open it. <laughs> I can find a skeleton. <laughs> you want us to come? Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, does it look like it would be easier to not trigger the trap or to trigger the trap and then time it when you can go across? I, I think, think this is an Indiana Jones moment for you guys. Can I do a history check? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a to Z. Alexander and Zenobia. Oh, I didn't pick up on that. A to Z. Nice. Mr. Ataz. Star Trek oh. original series. Mm -hmm. You remember having movie. discussions mm -hmm. with some of the other, one of the other uh, groups. I don't remember which one. The, not the Maduro, the... the uh, Gorm. The, 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 uh, the uh, Usami Gra oh, Yeah, I couldn't, that. I couldn't see the name either. They, they <laughs> told you that Alexander and Zenobia were the king and queen during the, the height of the, the the kingdom. Okay. By the way, gentlemen, I, I was thinking, if we ever get back to the surface, if we drink, bring one of the maidens or the Gorm people up, and we get inside those statues, we could make them think that we were their gods, and then give them instructions to do whatever we told them. We could, in this manner, bring peace and unify the groups once more. But, uh, but that would be lying to them, and that would be absolutely horrible. We cannot do that. <laughs> yeah, you guys should come through. <laughs> All right, come through. Wait, do we do? Have, do we? Uh, do we on the outside know what they're seeing, or how, what has been communicated? Uh, I mean, it, it, they're too far away now. Other than, that, other than you can hear the. Come on. There's one more thing. Okay. If we got ropes, we could loop it around. Unless they want to go back just not gonna and give us call you. Pull He's just not going to give us anything. Until they were just sitting there. I. I Work my way back. This is ridiculous. Okay. We shouldn't have to engage. Peek underneath and say, come on through. We found a uh, room with uh, two sarcophagi, a whole bunch of broken things, some bones. Okay. Uh, broken uh, chairs. So, 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 so wait, guys, before we go, you said there's two sarcophagi in there? Just smash it. Why do we need to go in there if there's already people at rest? We are not going to disturb the rest of these fine people. They're... They're they're marked Alexander and Zenobia. We know their names for crying out loud. Okay, they're do, do Cotton actually go through the 7 of 14 on the first patch? Bo 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 would not have this. Yeah. Second round, 2 and 3. That okay. makes it easily enough. Well what, where so the 3, okay. they're, they're through their two diagonals. Okay. Where are you two going? We do not need to go in there. Which one are you right now? I'm Kevlar. Oh, you're Kevlar. The cleric. Okay. All right, let's go. Are you still fucking? <laughs> <laughs> are you really going to loot the graves? Are you going to really? Are you really going to be grave robbers? 
It depends what's in the casket. Why would we even try to disturb the rest of these people? We are trapped here. We're going to make the most of our situation. The gods are not going to smile on this. They will not approve. I will not participate. You guys going to hear talk and he and he's yeah. uh, <laughs> I feel like it's my duty them. as a cleric to object to opening tombs. I have an imagine it's already, it's already too late. You're already in the tomb. We don't know if they were good people. I, I, I'm going to argue with you and complain the whole way to the uh, Okay. okay. Ash, Ashley pulls her, her, her chain mail to the side. Oh. So. And then she covers that back up and keeps walking. Well, now I have no reason to not go. To, uh. <laughs> All right, I'll, I'll. Make, your, uh, make your checks, guys. Meanwhile, Efron says, shut up. <laughs> this seems kind of. There's so many ways that we could disable this thing. We could smash the tile that triggers it. Yeah, we, could, we could use Let ropes to loop it around the, as they swing through and then grab it. All so of is us. it two dex checks plus two? Uh, my, no, minus four. Or something like that. Plus four. Wait, plus can, four. can we just try one more thing? Can Kevhorn use his hammer and smash the hell out of the trigger mechanism and see if he can destroy it so it can't be triggered any longer? Smash no. the tile. Crushing blow. All he's got to do is throw a tile stone. These things are you know, 12 feet long. The tile. The trigger. Yeah, we're trying to break the trigger mechanism. The tile that triggers the trap. We're trying to break trigger. the trigger, not the trap. Yeah. Okay, remember, you, you dumped the great big stone slab on it and, not, and you didn't scratch Wait, it. Oh. Are you going to take a hand? So if there's a stone oh. slab on top of oh, the trigger, so that's how all is this? Oh. I don't want to save it for next time. So Efron's, so it's what, plus four? So it, it smashed Josh's bar, so you think you're going to take a hammer and be able to break something that smashed no, Josh's bar? No, because what's, we're not trying to okay. smash what smashed Josh's bar. We're, you know the floor yeah. has a little tile. If you, It's yeah. a pressure tile, and you step on the tile, then that causes the can, can blades the to go. Okay. The trap. So the, the point is, if you smash that little tile, it no longer can be triggered. Wow. Oh. Can the thief disarm the trap? Yeah. You know, maybe if you were a 12th level thief or 14th level thief. What if you're but just... You, got, you guys... Joel, what if you're you're guy just with a learning hammer? the basics of traps. And you, only, you only know how it operates. <laughs> but if you but, smash it... But we know how to smash stuff. <laughs> and we know that stone has a saving throw at 17 versus crushing. Right. <laughs> Do you really want to take that chance? Yeah, because After we see seeing it. how it sliced through the hobgoblin and sliced through that stone. It seems to me that if we get into a fight and we have to walk back through this, this is going to be bad news for yeah. us. Yeah. I, it seems like it would be want to. No, we're just going to kick the ass and then we fight. Fine. I'm rolling uh, the decks. Okay. I got the a idols. six. Indiana Jones made it through with all the... <laughs> Think of okay, all the Nazis. That was though. at the beginning of the movie. Think of all the dead Nazis. We're not at the beginning of the movie anymore. <laughs> we're the Nazis right now. We're not Indiana Jones. Yeah. Uh, I got a six. So I just want to say it's a plus four. So if I have a 17 dex, does that mean that I just can't fail? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Efron makes it through. Yeah, skip to your loo. And he is my darling. Do cartwheels. Okay, so I have to roll. Kevhorn has a 10 dex. I have to roll under a 14. Well, if you do cartwheels, i got to give you a penalty. I'm not doing cartwheels. Good luck. 40, you're the last one, aren't you? Probably. So 47%. We haven't hit yet. Hope Mike's still awake there. Yeah, no, I'm good. Quiet. Mike oh. is quiet tonight. Did you get 13? Oh. One more, Kevhorn go, guys, guys, I really object to this. I can't, wait for me. Don't go in there. Don't you need to go and heal them? 13-13. Okay, well done. I'm never getting out here, by the way. All right, yeah. so everybody, that, really everybody yeah. made it through. Everybody made it to the two-foot-tall yep. stone. Mm -hmm. I guess we're crawling single file. Uh, we, I try to, we try to resupport it, put some more, more javelins, and we're being javelins, very careful more rocks in it to prop it up. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of us now. Everything's we got two foot long rocks. We'll tile a bunch. You know of what? Rocks. We have a whole bunch of crushed stone. Yeah, we'll that, that got smashed by the thing. We'll just put more rubble underneath it until it's piled up in the, the dwarf. A the dwarf Ashley. says, you know, if it, if it hasn't fallen yet, it's probably not going to. Okay. Ashley well, says to, 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 you, to your whiny clear. <laughs> You did such a good job. Why don't you follow me through the crawl space? <laughs> okay, but I don't. I still don't think this is. A You're cool. Are you caught on something? <laughs> Actually, this floor really is a little rough. <laughs> I still don't understand how that kind protects of you from anything, Ashley. I really don't. Like, look, arrows can get you here and here. It's more, like, it's more like she's a coat which slips on the side of her legs. So she can move easily. I but it's, like it's, the it's a chain mail a whole lot better. Why, Ashley, is your entire chest exposed then? I mean, an arrow could take you right there, couldn't it? It's like a big jacket, a big which jacket. the leg is slit so she can move easily. Oh, I see. Okay. That she, sounds nothing like the armor I'm envisioning. <laughs> yep. I'm 
trying to be like season eight of The Walking Dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we all made it into room 33. Yeah, we're at 33. How many tests are there? We're at the door of 33. There are two sarcophagi. One marked Alexander, one marked Zenobia. You said there were chests all around the room. Surrounding the sarcophagi are a number of large wooden <clears throat> chests. I'm, the uh, uh, I'm just telling you right now, Aldane can barely keep his hands off those chests right now. Aldane, Aldane, I... Are they like a 36D or like a 36D? How big are these chests? You can Stop count it. four chests. Stop it. Stay away. Stay away. Stop four. it. <laughs> no, Aldane. Aldane? Aldane, how many times have I told you? No. Stop it. Stop it. <sighs> yeah, they're, they're a good two feet wide by, um, oh. you know, one and a half feet tall. Oh. Okay. How oh, literally, man. Wood. Poke one with a... Uh, knock, it with a knock, we knock it with a wooden step, make sure it sounds like wood. Why don't we just smash it with a hammer and break the chest open? Gentlemen, why don't we leave this to our resident rogue? The yeah. rogue is looking at it. He's the expert oh, in yeah. these things. Uh, are, there, are there any locks on them? Are there hinges? There's latches. There's latches? No locks or anything on them? No. I don't Tap it with my staff. Does it sound like a wooden chest? Sorry? The, the, if I tap it with my staff, does it sound hollow, or does it sound like it's full? Does it sound like it's wood? You, you don't hear any hollow in there. There's, there must be something in there. Okay. Um, check for traps on the first one closest to me, or whatever's in front of me. All right, roll for. Um, no, I roll for that. You roll for check traps. That finally makes sense once we figure that out. What if the emeralds? So you don't know if you know yeah. or not. You do not find the trap. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open it. It's a trap. Okay, and it is full of silver. Pish, we don't need that. Jam packed full of silver. My bag of holding? No. Possibly more than you've ever seen before. Hey, hey Mikey. Silver the rim. Definitely more than you can carry. Yeah. We really don't need the silver, but since Adam is so against us taking anything, you should take like one piece. Just. <laughs> What's my perception? I will take. I will take one of the most shiniest pieces of silver and put it in my pocket. <laughs> and you, you put it in your pocket, you say, hey, wait a second, something doesn't feel quite right. You take it back out, you look at it, and you say, you know, this is, this is fake. This isn't real silver. <gasps> so you guys, I'm... Interesting. <clears throat> I don't actually know. Put it back. Dude, can, I, can, I tell, can I tell what metal it might be made of? It's actually lead. Lead? G give me a le worthless money. Lead. Lead? lead? Hmm. Nickel. Did you, Interesting. Uh, okay, so tastes kind of sweet. Did you read about the artist in LA who, back in 2009, made a pen? Out of curiosity, I um, I hand it to one of the other. I hand it to whoever standing next to me. And it was found three years later by a woman in New York. And I and I asked them, tell me what you think of this coin. Does this feel like real silver to you, or does this feel like something else? Who do you hand it to? Who who's standing next to me, Jeff? Jeff. I uh, I, say, I would give it to the dwarf. Yeah, he he says oh, this is definitely. Uh, fake. The dwarf would know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you two guys are the most knowledgeable about this kind of stuff, so. If you, yeah. you okay. Yeah. So this is definitely fake. So there's an illusion on this to make it look like it's silver, guys. It's not real silver. Fool's silver. Let's, um, I'm going to tell you guys, I think the real treasure's in the sarcophagi, and that's not something I necessarily want to open. Hmm. I, we definitely should not but, open the sarcophagi. We did not disturb the rest of the dead. All right, you want to search the rest of the, the chest, Mikey, to be sure? So I think we should search for secret doors here. Search the rest of the room. Yeah, search everything. I'll take a look around and see what I can find. Thanks, Batman. <laughs> God damn it. That's exactly what... That's Son like, of a bitch. He's a lone hunter, guys. Come on. That's a lone exactly. hunter. Exactly. We did watch, we watched the Lego Batman movie the other day. Yeah. 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 For, 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 for its price. For this time. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh, yeah, two secret doors. Efron's got a bit of a sore throat right now, guys. Just leave him alone, okay? <coughs> All right, is this a little better? <laughs> I, no, keep with it. It's a good voice. You gotta tell when so, you're playing too. So good. Efron easily finds. Um, I like the voice I found for Kevlar. <laughs> now, Efron and Kalar <laughs> easily find two it's secret good. doors. It's good. It's good. You see that, Mike? Yep, I got him. Let's. Let's pick in the northern one. Uh, Sounds good to me. Which, yeah, pick, I would say whichever one, Efron. I'm good picking either one. Is anybody well, Kevhorn? Keep an eye on the uh, on the entrance here. Make sure nobody sneaks up underneath. You know, well, we're we're through on us. well, Darter tells you, you know, these aren't really doors. That they're there's passages, but it's a stone wall blocking the passage. 
What do you, you mean? You can't find any kind of door there. There's no mechanism to open it? No, he takes his hammer, taps it. It's hollow here, but it's not a door. There might, there might be something else that opens it in the room. You know what? I'll bet you if you, if you open one of the sarcophagi, it might open. There might be a switch on the side. You said there was a painting on the wall as well. Mosaics. Mosaics. Oh, of Alexander. Alexander and, uh, and we Zenobia. inspect those mosaics. Are there any places that look like they could be pressed? That's an excellent idea. Which, which you could open up. Yeah, there's, a, there's about 6,000 little pottery squares 6, that, make up pottery the, that make up the mosaic. I fashion a jade roller and run six, around the whole seven. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any distinctive aspects of the, the picture? The rise, their. Are they holding Pair anything? Swords. Is there anything that says like pressing a button? press here to open door? Are they wearing buttons <laughs> that you could press? The the dwarf says I, I don't see anything here that's remotely possibly a trigger. not non pottery mosaic. He's a dwarf. Dwarf, do you have any idea how we would trigger the door? That might be a check for me. Maybe the uh, chest or the sarcophagi. Or we open a sarcophagi, they open, and something pours out. Well, as far as you're concerned, it's not a door. It's just a, there's a hollow. So it's blocking, it's blocking our path. How there's hard a, would it be for us to smash through it with, it, with somebody's hammer? 17? <laughs> <laughs> we must be misreading. Can we bring in one of those um, swinging traps? <laughs> <laughs> we're going to reroute the force of the pendulum over here. It's 100 feet away. <laughs> Why don't we check the other three wooden... Yes. Chest. Well, let's check the southern door. See, that's the what? same. <coughs> okay. All right, that's hey. a good idea. The that southern door, I feel, is the same. Let's. Oh. It's not a door. It's more of a okay. uh, block passage. Blockage. Hey, that uh, chest full of fake silver. Did we look through the whole chest to make sure it's all full of six fake silver, and there's nothing in the bottom? You sorted through six thousand pieces of fake silver. And you just kind of right. you scoop it out. Come and on. Reach into and there's five, one that's real. Five thousand. That's actually a good idea. <laughs> or there could be a trigger at the bottom. Or the time. Or we dump it out. Or a key. Dump it out. Anything on the bottom? You, you guys say, I don't see anything here that looks real. No. They, all look, they all look fake. Are there any false bottoms? Uh, does it look like the bottom of the inside matches to the bottom there. of the outside? Yeah. No. Okay. It doesn't? Negative. Hey, so may, maybe you could Clean sell up this for mess. a few gold pieces useful? Uh, in town as decoration. All right. What about the next box? Same thing. It's oh, got really? a, it's got a latch. Why are you doing magic? One of these is gonna be. There's no, he just Do my magic? You, it, it appears identical to the other one. Actually, it might be so good he's hiding. I can't see him. <laughs> yes. Oh, did, did I, he's that fucking good. I just, Joel, I, I didn't hear that. Yeah, Jeff, uh, Joel, uh, uh, Josh was talking. Sorry. It, it looks exactly the same as the first one. Oh. All right, so so uh, when you open it, it okay. is Which full of gold. Uh, so again, I pick I pick one up. And same thing. You say, ah, this is fake gold. More, we more fake okay. gold. Sift through, check to the bottom, empty it all out, make sure there's nothing else so, in there. So you empty about six thousand gold pieces that are all fake. Mm -hmm. At least it's not as heavy as real gold. Hmm. Well, at least we don't have to get caught lugging it around, so. That's yeah. it. That's two down, two to go. All right, to the next one. Okay. Same thing, you find no trap. You open okay, it up. So you open it. All right, I open it. <laughs> and it's full of uh, electrum pieces. Okay, as soon as I pick one up, I assume that I find their face. Those are half silver, half gold, instead of half gold, half silver. To the users. <laughs> <laughs> and and those are fakes as well. I guess that the uh, next one's full of copper. And you know what's going to happen, right? The next chest is going to be full of copper pieces, and they're going to be real. <laughs> yeah. Twelve thousand copper. You did that to him. All right, All right go to the go to the next go to the, go to the, let's go to the last chest, it, Joel, no and uh, check the traps, and then while this is all going on, Kevhorn is is standing by the uh, the entrance to the room, the the two foot crawl hallway, yeah. and keeping an eye out and keeping an ear open for anything trying to get through. Okay. And that one has less uh, coins in it, but still an awful lot. There's about 2,000 platinum pieces in there. Ooh, fake platinum. That's called platinum. And, th and those are fakes as well. 
Are they good fakes, though? Yeah, I was going to say, how good? <laughs> They're cheap counterfeits. Oh. I quote, I quote the book. Oh, that's a shame. They're so cheap, even I can tell them. And we that. emptied out they're, nothing in the bottom of the box. No they're, they're worse than wooden nickels. <laughs> There's nothing under the checks either. No, box. nothing. Under the checks? You find no value there. So like if we, if we p pick up the chests and move them or knock them over, there's nothing underneath no. the chest itself. Okay. Nope. All right, so gentlemen and ladies, we have two choices. Now comes the time. We can smash open one of the caskets, or we can risk opening one of the sargophagi. Are there? I don't think we're smashing open yeah. the passage because we should not be even in this room. Never mind opening the sarcophagi. Yeah, Mike. So, so, so there's two sarcophagi, right? So, um. Are, are there any other markings on the sarcophagi other than the names of Alexander and the Queen, his wife? Uh, I mean, they're they're all covered with gold. Uh, they're all golden. So other than that, no. All right. So if I put my hand, up, does it feel like real gold or fake gold? Uh, it looks like painted gold. Should we tell? Looks like painted gold. Okay. It's painted gold on wood. Upon okay. Next inspection. Right. Can we tell which one's Alexander's? Which Ale one? Alexander's yeah, the, one, the one that says Alexander. Right. I don't know who's in it. It just says Alexander. Yeah, Alexander's says is the sarcophagi. Zenobia's is the sarcophagi girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if these were metal fakes, we could pile all of them onto one sarcophagi so that whoever's inside could not open it. Oh, so when we so they would the lid not particularly heavy. It's not a two-person job like, to open the lid. <laughs> Correct. And we don't have to fight one at a time. Right, exactly. Mikey, check the lids and see if they're trapped in any way. In any way. Can we? Yeah, I was going to say, are the lids secured in any way? Are they sealed? Can they be pried open? Can they just be lifted open? Uh, they got uh, little wooden latches like other wooden sarcophaguses would. You don't find any traps on either one. Guys, do you want to just open? Guys, do we want to open one or what? I think we open one. Can we can we establish another exit before we do so that we don't have to go through all of that to escape? Yeah, the crawlway and then the trap. <laughs> we just close the door behind us. Don't what door? Doors. What door? The door. The door from the crawl space. That, that one right there. Oh, then, then we're stuck in that two by two square. I, I'm saying a retreat for us, not so that it can escape. So so we can escape now. Yeah, that's how we go. No. What if we open up a hole so that we create a new exit? So you want to go through ten feet of snow to another room? It's hollow. We should. Just the door is hollow. We don't see the other side. Shall uh, we open it and see what's on the other side? Oh. We don't know how to open it. There may be an open, there, there, what I'm looking for is a mechanism within the casket to open. Kevorn has a hammer. He could just try smashing it open. I'd much rather smash open a door than open a sarcophagus. Feel free. I we, 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 uh, Joel, we close the door to the room we're in right now to try to lessen the noise that Kevorn is about to make. Okay. And Kevorn uh, tries to smash the bottom, the, the southern door that is not a door. What's he smashing it with? His hammer. His looser and hammer. Looser and hammer. Alright, describe to me how what's he doing? Like one he big goes, whack or is two, two he hit, 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 giving it some knock, knocks like that? <laughs> <laughs> he spits out his hands, rubs them together. He's got his, his, his hammer is, you know, head down on the ground. Does he point to home ba to, to third base? That's just ridiculous. No. Oh, okay. I so should say field. yes, Anne. Sorry. <laughs> yes. And... Then he picks up his hammer and rah, one big smack onto the door. Right, right. in the middle, where so it's weakest. It, yes, at the hollow spot. And he's a dwarf, so he knows all this shit. He, he's a dwarf? Yeah, he's a mountain dwarf, according to something. Yeah, yeah. Kevhorn is a dwarf. Okay. Huh. I'll have that written down. That's, so it's, that's he's not, not hitting it so much like so he here. Knows what, all right, he knows what he's doing then. Yeah. And hammers are great. This is his first I'm rock. Guys, I know stone. Stone and healing. Healing stones. So after hitting it, I mean, it does not break, but you can sense that you probably could break it eventually. It keeps it's going. Like, it's like mining back at home. Oh. Does anybody have a pick? It makes a lot of noise. I mean, you are smashing rock. With when cameras. we go out later, we'll find like 15 dead creatures that have been killed so by the blades. There's no way a whole bunch of cats. It, with, with closer examination, is there a way in which it looks like they should slide, whether up, down, left, right? No. The dwarves tell you no. And the dwarves would know. So there's no way to, to move these without magic or destruction. Correct. But I didn't even have to roll. Well, no way to move them with. Okay. Where's the safety? Where's the safety? We cannot determine a way to move them otherwise. 
That's right. All right, so we have two choices here. We, we open one of the, the caskets to make sure there's nothing there to help us, mm -hmm. or we continue to make enough noise to literally wake the dead, who may open the casket anyway. We have killed almost everything on this floor. Doesn't anybody have uh, a rock the mud spell? That's, that's like not like till 7th level. Level 5, 6, 7. That's too bad, isn't it? <laughs> Guess that's why these are still intact. Intact, yeah, yeah. All right, so he's getting you know away. So, some... Uh, <coughs> Uh, Efron gets the idea. He, he whispers to uh, who's going to help. Uh, what's her name? Ashley. Ashley. While the cleric is uh, is uh, distracted, open up one of the caskets. Of the sarcophagus. All right. She call. She calls. She calls uh, Mikey over. Mm -hmm. She asks him to, to check out Alexander's tomb. Sure. I don't know. Alexander the Great. Yeah, right. mm -hmm. It's what my kid is named after. So while he's, he's occupied, mm -hmm. check it out. Let's um. What I would like to do is have one person open the the, door, the, the casket lid, or everybody else has a, a weapon pointed to stab anything that pops out when it opens. I have a dart, a single dart in my hand. That's all I've got. You should have given a little thing. You can still trade a little. I have my right. flail ready to smash the skeletons. Um, the Kev you is and I oh, no. are going to open it because we have the weakest. We have, I have a staff and dart, and you have a dart. Okay. So we are going to flip the lid off. Yeah. Ashley will be prepared with her sword. Efron is by the door with a arrow knocked. Efron, or uh, Mikey's got um, his backstab ready. All right. Mikey's you, backstab. You make a strength ready. check at plus five. If you need me, call me over. Ten. Uh, ooh, I rolled a seventeen. So fifteen. Uh, yeah, but with your fifteen uh, strength, you couldn't fail. But my fifteen strength makes it a twenty. Seventeen is less than twenty. I'm good. Okay, so the, so the lid the opens. I mean, not, not with a struggle, but yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a decent task. And you see a, a pile of bones in there. No other dressing accoutrements? Nope. Not even, like, rags? Dust? Hey, we can use this and lay this sarcophagus yeah. lid over the trigger in the other room so that... It's wood, painted gold. Oh, why was it so heavy, then? And apparently, it's, it's British oak. I've got a strength of 15. Okay, wow. It was, it was, you know, there's the bones of a couple cats, maybe. Or, really? And, and a human. Uh, Mikey, does it look like there's a secret, any any secret stuff in the bottom? A secret compartment, maybe? Yeah, I, I was going to say, I was just, so, uh, does it look like there's anything, so, so the sarcophagus, is it raised up on a platform or anything? Let's no, try not to disturb no, it unless we have to. You, you see a, a big pile of gems and some jewelry in there. Oh, I would with, call that with something. With the bones. I didn't see that before. Yeah. The cat, okay. If you notice the cat bones right Can there. I, jewelry if I pick up one of the, I just want to pick up one of the gems. Uh, you know? Just the one. Just I just want to touch it. I just want to touch it. <laughs> okay, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey, we're not going to disturb anything unless we have to. And, well, I think Mikey has to. <laughs> and, uh, and you can tell right away it's just a bunch of cheap glass. <sighs> okay. I think this is a fake burial chamber. That's really what it boils down to. And the real one is... I'm sorry, did you say fake barrel chamber? Yes. Is, oh, is, okay, desecrate away. Is it a trap then? <laughs> so, so, guys, it's a real, it's one, a real of two, one of two things. Either I have failed every role that Joel has made for me, or this is a complete waste of time and let's get out of here. We should cut the head off the body. Cut the head off and then we'll do the next one. Yeah? Actually, I was just going to put the lid back okay, on. Oh, yeah, I'm cool with that. Cut the head off. I think that's a very good idea. We do not need to cut the head off. Just we put don't the need lid to desecrate whatever's in there. We just put the head back on, put the lid back on. And we make him sit on it. Well said, Master. Now, who, who's doing the chopping at the, the wall? Oh, Kevhorn stopped that temporarily. Oh, okay. Uh, no, no, he wasn't. He was still going because he was distracted. We didn't tell him. It was. So oh, I, I heard something about fake, fake. Uh, I mean, just now when he heard fake, uh, fake tomb. Uh, did he make any progress during all that fake before tomb. he stopped? I uh, think he made a little bit of progress. Yeah, all right, you guys. So. I'll keep down, I'll keep working on the wall. Right, you guys, well, you guys don't desecrate that other tomb, but open it up because it's not a real tomb, but it's a real person. So, I'm a little conflicted. I'll just keep it on the wall. It looks like it's opening up a little bit. And, and a real cat. Dang. All right, Dang. so we close up the Dang. first one. We, we repeat the process for the second. I keep rolling like 19, 20, 18, 19, 20, 18, 19, 20. Niner, strength check. Twelve. That's a success. And it opens up, and and you see the same. A uh, bunch of bones. All right, with a bunch of jewelry and a bunch of gems. I'm, I'm surprised it's that time we're closing this. I'm wondering if the real tomb are behind those secret doors. Alexander behind one and Zenobia, Zenobia. Zenobia behind the other. Agreed. 
a piece of stuff together. I'll go over and uh, uh, help. Sharper as a player. Again. You're, 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 you're also you're also trying to apply logic where there may be none. You're helping them. I mean, think about Richard the Lion headed. All right, so what you're definitely you making serve? progress. You think you're going to break through the wall pretty soon? Just a, a couple more minutes of chopping away. Couple more minutes of chopping. Good. Good with with your help. Okay. What's my endurance? Watch this. I'm helping. If it's tight, no working. If it's a little loose, it was no working. It, it There's works. A sweet There's a sweet There's spot. There's a sweet spot in there. Nice observation, Josh. It so I had it working, and you fucked work. it up. That's all I heard there. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I figured out how to work. No, I, I all right, did you get through the door yet? Or through the wall yet? Or all right, right. so <clears throat> with one last smash, uh, it cracks through, and you can see that there's a, you know, a passageway there. Guys, I was afraid it was going to be the skeleton room from the well between the two souls. Ooh. The well souls. I was waiting for where all the bodies, where all the skeletons were, and Marion and Indy were. Oh, 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 oh. I don't remember. That's, that's not close your eyes, is it? No, that was the arc itself. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, I guess we advance in, Joel. Slowly, so you're, so you're going to finish barreling through? I'm not going to barrel through. Well, I told you, you, ba you broke your way. Yeah, broke you broke a hole. Through this, yeah, you broke a hole. Through yeah, we'll, we'll push through. He's He's gonna, as cautiously as one can push through a broken wall. You're clearing it out so that it's yeah. 10 feet. I actually just probably like to take a file. Okay, so the, the hallway uh, turns to the, to the left. Any dust? To does it right. show footprints or does it look like we're the first human beings here? Uh, the, the dwarf tells you, yeah, I, I don't know if anybody's been in here. Mm. I don't even know. Mm. I don't even know. I, I don't, you don't know a lot about it. What do you know? I want to know. Oh. Cool. Yeah, is that a door? So we came to a door. Same old kind of door. But close to feel. Yeah. Well, Mikey doors. And we've been searching for secret doors along this passageway as well. Yes, I have. Okay. Yeah. As yes, you I get, have. As you can see, there aren't any. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, I guess as we've been actively door. looking, I mean, as Joel's been opening the map, uh... Yeah, I guess we go to the next door. Check it. Uh, is it locked? It's the same as all the others. Look, you can, listen and feel. You're not really locked. You're, you're okay, so yeah, do the old look, listen, and feel. Open up the door. What do we got? It opens up into that um, 30 by 30 room, almost 30 by 30. Oh. The walls of this room are bare. In the center of the room is an oblong box made from stone slabs. Suddenly, rising out of the stone box is a translucent ghost-like figure. Oh, the shepherd. pale figure has glowing red eyes and a large dark mouth. Do we have magic weapons? We will, I just want everybody has a magic weapon. Uh, do we, Ash does a plus one sword. Uh, our thief does a plus two sword. Somebody has a plus... Somebody has... Jeff has a magic flail. I, I, just, I don't see anything for Ephron and we never knew about Kevhorn. I thought, I thought you had something. Um, and then, then you hear a, I see basic long a wail. Go plus a, four. Just a piercing wail. Oh, you feel icy, death-like chill. Oh, I can't. It is a banshee. I wish, um, oh. wish Ford That's, was here. He'd be able to give, give a good one. That's Thank a good you. one. That's a really good one. Um, okay, so we right, have so a door fight. Now, uh, uh, it's, all, it's all done with. So okay. now roll for initiative. <clears throat> Mikey, D6. One, one person rolls for all of us, right? You know the cleric's got to try to turn this. All the they both have. Two clerics. Oh, you're five. Player. Okay, so you've so got that. initiative. You decide what you're going to do. Uh, well, Kevhorn's going to stick. So this is whoa, whoa. this is a whiny the white. Whiny. Whiny the white. Oh, it's a white. I, I don't know what it is, but I'm calling it whiny the white. Whiny okay. the white. Okay. <laughs> uh, what, <laughs> yes. What type of phantasm would you reckon that this is with? I'm going to check my drawers, make sure that they're still clean. It's probably ghost. Free floating, full torso, vaporous apparition. <laughs> pull books off shelves from 20 feet away and scared the socks off some our librarian. <laughs> Dude, that's like too tight for me. Wow, that just. I didn't know that was in there. Mike, can you see that? That was impressive. That's a picture of the creature. Oh, wait, switch over. Uh, hold, hold on, I gotta switch screens. There you go. And can you click at him? Okay, got it. Thank you, Joe. Oh, but he's not gonna see that unless he clicks on his side. Okay. No, I can yeah, I can even see the map where I can see you guys, so. Oh, he clicked on it? Okay. I don't know how... Oh, I, 
Yeah. Let's listen to that. You know what I mean? Absolutely, yeah. So we've been recording Joel all the time. Joel's face all the time. Yeah. Wait. We don't have the map. What's displaying here? Joel's face. I think. I've got the map. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good, good. You just change it back. Perfect. I see. Never mind. I got it. Yep. I'm on game. I'm on game now. All right, so you got initiative. Well, Caphorn's going to stand up and hold up his holy symbol and say, uh, Be gone, you uh, evil undead. Get thee out of what... I don't know what term it is. Just makes it, get thee gone. Get thee gone. Really. We need to so. find the rules for turning undead. Is that the he's got, a, he's, got a tar- he's got a table. He's got a table on that. I, 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 I don't know what level He's got to be level is. three. Because I'm, I'm a level three level cleric level two magic user. You might be level four, actually. I say, how are you three two, but I'm only three on my granger. I think you're three as well on cleric, if I'm not mistaken. We could just say four. Then you, you do yourself. So we'll try to figure out what, what, yeah. if, where it falls in the, the category. I just mm-hmm. No, I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm just waiting for everybody to tell me what Okay, Adam, doing. Adam's, Adam's trying to turn it. He yeah, try to, try to turn it. Okay. How often does that recharge? Is that like once a day? or? I think it's once in a counter. Okay, good. Because they're only D20. I'm, in, I'm, yeah. I'm anticipating having to do this in the north as well. Does he want high or low? I, he wants, I think this gets high. I think I want high. I rolled a six. Okay. He doesn't, you don't turn it. Uh, Ashley takes a swing at it with her sword plus one. Eleven. She has a seventeen strength, which I believe is plus one. She has a sword plus one, so that is a thirteen. She's a third level fighter? Yes. Or second level? Third level. Okay, again? Thirteen. You rolled thirteen? Yes. So that's a miss. Mm. Ashley, suck. Darter will step forward. It's better than fifty percent. So you don't want to try and turn it Take a swing. Guy? I think that'd be able to go. That's, that's, that's like 15. The first 15? Thing you do, right? Yeah, I a natural 12, plus 2 flail, 17 strength is plus 1. So that's plus 3, plus the 12 is 15. Plus plus 15. Plus what is a plus 2 reaction adjustment? So initiative. So would that, does that apply to the whole party or just. No, that's, that's if you were doing 15 the level 3 fighter. Oh, okay. Maybe we have weapon, weapon speed and all that BS. Oh, okay. No? Um, it, that's a flail. Okay, that, that's flail. a hit. Is the flail D6? Or D8? I think it's D8. It, flail. It's right here. I like having this thing. That is a, I, it is a footman's flail. Oh. Two to seven. So it's a D6 plus one. Mm. Plus, plus one two. On long sword, short sword. So oh. yes. plus Eight. one damage for a oh, 17 strength. Yep. Okay. Four plus the D6. Yes. Nice. So five. Woo. Nine damage. Ooh. Okay. Did I hear a niner in there? Did it seem to have an effect? Yeah. You okay. hit it. It, um, it didn't it like getting hit. Ooh. What else is in the room? Oh, whoa, whoa. You're in the middle of a battle here. Dukat steps forward. I banish the creature to the depths from which you re- 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 you came. Yeah, I'm trying to good. turn it as well. Okay. Level three, Claire. Thirteen. It's a better roll than a six. I have, a, I have a, 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 looks like a seventeen wisdom, so I don't know if there's a modifier for that or not. That's a failure. Whoa. Next. He didn't even take into account wisdom bonuses. It might be too high level. For it us. might be. Yeah. Uh, I don't have magic missile. I'm gonna right whack now. my sword. Uh, I don't think there's much I can do. I can throw, throw a, a dart, dart at it <laughs> against an incorporeal creature. I can cast sleep and waste my time. Or Undead Servant? I don't know if the Undead Servant... Can you make it your servant? servant? <laughs> unseed Servant. Oh, unseed servant. servant. oh, Undead Servant, right. Um, <laughs> well, Mikey's, Mikey's doing his thing. Right? Yeah, that oh. might, you might get shot at it. Yeah, it's all you, Mike. All right, I'm going I'm to go ahead and swing my sword and see what happens. Oh, plus two sword. 19 with the plus two. Ooh, that's a hit. What's your strength? 13. No bonus. bonus. Are there crits in AD&D? Yeah, Yeah. 20. Natural 20. Uh, 20, you get max damage. Uh, Okay, so 19. So is this a large creature or a small medium? Medium. Regular. Medium. Medium. Okay. 13. No adjustments for anything. I do a whopping D8 damage. Nice roll. And you got the plus 2 damage on the sword on that? Do you ever get extra damage on a longbow? Uh, Yeah, so it's plus 2 to hit and damage, right? Yeah. Uh, eight points of damage. Okay. Nice one. Who's next? 
Uh, Elric is going to look at the room. What else is in the room? You've got nothing else to do. It's like where you fight, when you fight Astrak, you pick up the treasure in front of him and you use against him. <laughs> you pick up the magic item in front of him and hit him. Uh-huh. Mm. Right. Did that uh, one. You, all you see is the, the um, stone box. I look in. And the, ban- the banshee behind it. It's a stone box. It's a stone box. There's nothing inside of it? You have to open it to see. Oh, we haven't opened it. Um, well, I got nothing else to do. I'll start pulling open the stone box. Okay, you know that you'll be right there next to the banshee, right? Hmm. It's just right next to the stone box. Hmm. I will hold my turn, wait till it goes, and then I will move the stone box. Okay. I, don't know, I don't know if there's holding in this, is it? Uh, well, uh, Ephron is going to shoot. Ashley went. Ephron still needs to go. went. Okay, Ephron. And, and I haven't kept the Keflon go. Kevin, yeah, he Kevin, Horn, yeah he failed his turn. I have a note here that says five arrows. Do I, get to shoot? I don't shoot five arrows per round, do I? No, only two. two. Okay. So he has a lot more than five arrows. Oliver, say hello to the nerds. Oh. Oliver, say hello to the nerds. Hey. Oh. oh. He's adorable. And your dog is cute, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yes. they're both adorable. <laughs> Jen is cute, too, yes. But the dog is cuter. He wants to talk about Jen. Is Oliver new? A couple weeks. Yes. Uh, well, yeah, we got, we got him uh, right after Thanksgiving. Oh, awesome. Nice. Cool. So I rolled a natural 20 on my longbow. Okay. I don't know what that means. You said it's max damage? Uh, he was no, basically in a down payment on a house. And the arrow just goes right through him. <laughs> well, uh, Mikey, he costs out payment on a house. He, he was basically a down payment on the house. I don't think I have any magic items. Is that everybody? Well, I, 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 I and this was my next arrow that was already in the air when the first one passed through. I'm fucking useless. Hey, at least you have arrows. I have darts, buddy. You have magic spells. I have sleep. Uh, so that's everybody. All right. That's everybody. Everybody takes two damage. <gasps> two? Yep. Oh boy. Whoa, that's a lot when you only have when you have fourteen. <laughs> Is that a wound? <laughs> you just take two damage for being in the presence of this thing? That's the icy death chill that you took from the, the Pierce. Oh, okay. Oh, boy, that was not good. All right, so roll for initiative. Next round. Mikey. Mikey, you know yep. your dex roll. bonus goes on that, right? Hang on. That's a plus two, I think. Uh, so I rolled a five again for initiative. All right, so the party's got the initiative. Kevhorn's not Kevhorn. Uh, Ephron is gonna leave. Uh, let's let's try to move the. Maybe if we destroy the body, it'll stop the banshee. Destroy what body? The body in the coffin. There's yeah. a box in front of us. There's a box. There's a stone. Oh, box. holes in the box. I don't think I want to get that close to it. I'll get close. <laughs> it's, it's close enough to us, anyways. Shall we? Or I could just <laughs> leave and not take damage. <laughs> <laughs> I will cover the rear. <laughs> Alright, Ash- Ashley will, t- will swim with her magical sword. As will... Kevin Dark. Ashley rolls for the lead. Ducat will cast magic missile. Does not miss. Oh, no, is he a magic missile? Watch the damn gun, man. Whopping 2 to 5. One magic hit, though. So, 3 damage. We'll take it. Well, doesn't he get, he get a saving throw? Oh. Magic what? missile just goes automatic missile. Automatic hit. Yeah. Unless it's a magic missile. Creatures don't get to save against magic missiles. Not the magic missile. Okay. Joel, it's magic. Oh my god. That area is right there, target. Oh, it's bad. So, damage? Three. 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 Right. Darner steps forward, raises the flail above his head, and swings as hard as he can. Does it take your second wind? <laughs> Use daily. Use her daily. <laughs> My bonus is as big as my roll. <laughs> Use it, Betty. Use it, Betty. Six. Is it? It's a woeful mess. Wild as heck. Does anybody else have magic weapons? Uh, Kevhorn has cure-late wounds. Does anybody have cure-late wounds on me after this turn? Not of the banshee. 
Or you guys could try turning again. The Vikings still got attack. I, I, I think the turning is a little bit powerful. I am going I am gonna, yeah. Do it now before we see what's in there. Sure, I'm opening the box. But Vikey hit. Oh, yeah, Mike's got a magic weapon. Alright, I'm gonna attack with my sword again. Sword gives a big yeah. Yeah. Uh, 16. Ooh. I feel like the sword is southern. <laughs> yeah, I'll come back now. So I can hit that's, you again. That's uh, with bonuses? Yes. Uh, it's a miss. Oh. Ouch. 16 is a miss? That's right. Holy crap, guys, I'm in trouble. You got the plus two, right? Added into that. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's applied roll to 14, so that's 16. I mean, it's. What's strength? your strength, Mike? 13. 13. Uh, no offenses there. Anybody else? Uh, uh, Elric is going to try to move the lid off of the box. Oh, wait, I have a move, don't I still? No. <laughs> yeah, you do, actually. You can I run away. <laughs> he oh, he moves run, the lid off. You run the box. out of the room and. You know what? Uh, we're down the hall. Back back I just here. get out of the room. I don't want to hear that howl again. And then next turn you can run in and attack. Yeah. <laughs> There's a turn or, after that, you run out, or you attack and you run out. Just close the door, open the door, close the door, open the door. That's exactly what I'm thinking. You could lend Efron your sword. We could He's all got a better chance and to then stuff our ears. So are, are, you, are you closing the door behind you? Or are you, just, or are you running uh, down the hall? <laughs> no, I'm just running out of the hall right now. Yeah, okay. I guess I'm gonna not close the door on everybody that's in there. Is that everybody? Is that everybody? Well, no, no. Kev Horn I'm will... opening up the, the box. Okay. All right. It's too heavy for you. Kev Horn will... 15 strength. Yeah. Dukat has to decide what he's doing. Dukat, help him out. Uh, Kev Horn can help him out. Just with stone slab strength. on top of it. Two, what about two 15 strengths together? And a, and a, and a 13 strength. Well, who Dude, you guys so, not, so so so. He tried and he couldn't damage. open it, so now you guys are going to try. We're, we're adding to his push. Uh, not what you said. Well, we're, 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 we're recounting this. All right, fine. You, 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 um, you push the stone slab off. It falls on the floor. On top of the banshee. <laughs> it's a magic um, stone slab. Slab. <laughs> and there, there's a body in there. Uh, male body or female? You know? Can we tell anymore? Do you have time to do um, a uh, general check? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're asking for a lot of information. You're looking for the, short, you're looking for the hips. Based on the hips and vertebrae, are the yeah, shoulders they bigger than the hips? You, yeah. uh, it's, you, can, you can see it wearing a crown, of a very ornate jewel crown. Yeah. And it's, it's the, the body of a human. That would be more quietly wrought than a hip. It would be more of a female crown or a heavy crown. Like a heavy male crown or more finely wrought? Kingsworth crowns. Kingsworth crowns. Kingsworth crowns. Tierras. Anyway, all right. Uh, we have a torch from that's our light source. Torch the body. Uh, all right. Let's see. Put the head off. Torch the body. No one in the, in the uh, middle. Is Killed the horses. Anything. Raped the women. Uh, turn on. Try to turn on dead again. You guys got to do something here. I can't, I can't believe the clerics are not trying to cast cure light wounds just for the heck of it. Is that working, Andy? Find right, out. It, do it. What else are you going to do? You don't have to cure light wounds to cure wounds. Um, you got five of them. I think everyone has five. It, it's so covered with armor that um, your initial attempt isn't working. You Ooh. need a little more careful. It's full of armor. Careful time. Yeah, it's got it's it's wearing armor and it's it? got a big sword with it and and the oh. crown. Oh, there's oh, a sword. There's a sword. Shoot. <laughs> 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 All right. So, your, your, your turn is spent. Our turn is spent. Wait, what about Kevhorn? Uh, I, would, I don't know if Kevhorn would take that sword. No, you got five cure light wounds, Kev, man. Kevhorn's a cleric. He can't use sword. Cut off the head. Oh, okay. Five cure light wounds. Cast it. Cut off the head. I could, I could run up there. He's not going to plunder a tomb. It's not plundering if I'm just trying. I'm trying to release this tortured soul. I run over to the casket and try and smash the skull that's in there. Try cure light wounds. You've already done 20 points of damage. Wait, what? I thought we did three. No, we did nine plus Mike. We're at, we're at twenty points right now. Plus three from that. And I can yeah. undo almost half. All right, is that what you're doing? Yes. Really, okay. you could heal it. What if you heal? Go ahead, roll. Uh, do I get anything for a fifty? Oh, it doesn't matter. I rolled another twenty. 
Do I actually do anything with this? Oh, or is this what fucking saving waste Saving throws. <laughs> Crushing blow. Oh, saving throw. I just <laughs> I rolled it. You hit the stationary um, head as hard as you could. So, let's see. Low is bad on saving throw. You want to roll over it. You want to roll over it. Yeah, you, you want to roll equal to or over So, you, you managed to smash the the skull and the crown the smithereens. Oh, boy. It goes all the money, all the treasure. We don't need money right now. Uh, it's still Jewel, gold. Jewels fly everywhere. We still have the jewels. And we can melt down the gold. She's not a hostage. No change to the... To the no. Is that everybody? That is everybody. That's everybody. So the banshee whales. Takes it. Everybody takes four damage. Well, four. we don't get a saving throw for that. Oh, that's magic that's missile. No saving throw. I don't know. I'm asking. Nope. Including you, Mike. You you you're still affected by the banshee from where you were. Okay, so take two more. Four more. Four now. Four. Okay. I'm down to eight. So I'm taking and a little Roll for initiative. Go, Mikey. <laughs> Six. All right, party's got initiative. Oh, I thought it was Green Bay and the Atlanta Braves. Go, Mikey. I'm going to let all the melee guys go before I waste the, the magic missile. If you're a ranger, shoot that missile. Yeah. Okay. Go, Mikey. The slash. Go, Mikey. All right, so I'm going to, uh, slash. I guess attack on my sword. That's all I really got here. You do slashing damage versus piercing. So. Um, yeah. I challenge you to a rock off. <laughs> Alright, whoever's next? Uh, <laughs> no, Kev, no uh, Betty, huh? <laughs> Kev, Kev or her. I, I, roll a, I roll a 16 again. Kev or yeah, her. Th see, thieves are a little behind fighters naturally on the city scale. scale. I'm, going, I'm attacking with my flail. I'm jumping ahead of you, sorry. Make it good, make it good. Natural Ooh. 18. That's a hit. 21. Roll high. You might be dead on this hit. Set 20 points already. This plus four. Nine Ooh. more damage. 29. And it dissolves into a bunch of little bright Whew. bright lights and all is quiet. I was That's another big level gun. for me. I was pulling the big gun. Oh, Ooh. baby. Save that. The round one? <laughs> I still the wonder what's happen if we cast Cure Light Wounds on it. We'll try it in the next sarcophagus. Who's carrying your light source? Elric is. Hey. Okay. Since uh, you are in a, an inner tomb here, there's yes, no torches in here. Mm -hmm. All right, so, Hunter. S since the, <coughs> since this this uh, resting place was haunted by an evil spirit, and I can tell that this is not a consecrated location, so it would be okay. There's you know there's there's no rest here for this uh, dead. We we put this dead person to rest finally. So Kevin, we we can take its stuff. Yes. Okay. So as you as you look around, the <laughs> thief uh, points out to you, you know, th this place was plundered a long time ago. There's nothing in here. There's a sword. Uh, other armor. than other than the sword, the the plate mail armor, and the now shattered, worthless crown. I wouldn't say it's worthless. There's still gems. It's still made of gold, right? So there's raw. it's worth it. It's literally worth its weight in gold. Uh, there's gold <laughs> that could be melted and redone. Assuming it's not a counterfeit. All right. Mike uh, figures it's worth maybe 20% of what it was worth intact. Okay. The lack of artistic. What was so it? It was, oh, about, yeah, exactly. it, it was about a 5,000 gold piece crown. Hmm. So maybe it's worth about 1,000 gold pieces now. That's still awesome. If it's yeah. smashed. It's still pretty good. Scratched yeah. or nice job. dented. Search for all those missing gems. They might all right, is this sword magically? 3,000 experience points now that you're in here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I think gold. I should get bonus experience points totally for forgot. trying something on that. Gold equals experience in this game. I had no fucking clue. That's right. And I also forgot about the game anyway. Is the sword magical? <laughs> oh, you've got a detect magic of, of, of some, some kind of ability, right? Uh, I would, yeah. Doesn't somebody? When we sleep, it's a cleric spell, isn't it? We can memorize it yeah. and cast it. Cause, well, cause somehow you were able to... Mem remember when you found oh. that potion? Somebody was able to tell her. I thought we did it by taking a I've, sip I've of always it. felt that a magic user should at least detect if something is magical. Not necessarily the... And I said the extent of the magic. Correct. The nature I of think it. you need to spell to, to understand the extent. It could be cursed for all magical. Because that's a type of magic right. as well. The, I mean, both the, both the armor and the sword are magical. Who's got plate mail? Efron has plate mail. I got plate mail. Who's got non-magical plate mail? Efron has non-magical armor. Everybody has magical plate mail. Yeah. I can't, I, can't, I can't use plate man. I can't use armor unless it's like studded leather magical. But I can't. What's your AC? Oh, as a clear. 
minus one. I have AC two, three already. I can use your AC three. Well, you can take I have crazy decks. My deck is fifteen. Seventeen. Do I have okay. less than one? You have one. Just one. Just minus one. I have more. Oh, like like yeah. Fair enough. Why? Well, the same amount of armor. You know, we're taking two. Plus, I have. I must have two more oh, points of. Uh, of uh, I have a shield. So how are we oh, proceeding right. here? Uh, Ephron is going to take the sword. It's a long sword. It's a regular sword. That's a long sword in this game, isn't it? Short sword. Is that broad sword? A, a sword is a long sword. Sword is a sword. By default, I was called long yeah. sword. Yeah. All right, long sword. Okay. Oh, so so there's he's got he's now getting magical long sword of what we don't know. <laughs> well, we'll use it when we fight the next creature yes. in the next room. <laughs> are you going to put it on the plate now? Uh, I think it's going to go to. Uh, you are. You take it. I am a magic user. I have no need to play mill these days. I, I I have already have a better AC. What is your AC? Uh, I think I have bracers three. Oh. Yes, that's that's. Oh wow, that's not bad. And he and I both have bracers three. Yeah. I Can nobody really use magical three. plate? I mean, seriously. No, no, no. They're, they're discussing who's going to take it. I oh, have, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No. The, the dwarf's got it. Now I believe that Mike's sword probably has the ability to identify. What this magical sword is, as long as it's not smarter than Mike's sword. Now, uh, now that we've picked it up, <laughs> that's an interesting. So, sword. okay, so I put uh, sword put my sword next to it. Touch each other's sword. So, <laughs> so it's swords that you got to fight to the death. So through the magical <laughs> sword powers that, that you have, you're able to identify it as a plus two sword. Oh, hey, nice. Who's better? With NSA. Sword? You guys have a uh, plus two sword. Can you, can, you, can you try to dent the armor to no, plus that is? I, 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 get, the, I get the. Well, he can just get just by putting oh. it on. Oh, Adam, you can tell hey, Jeff, Adam. Jeff, you can tell Jeff, you can tell Jeff, you can tell Jeff, you can tell Oh. Hey, Adam. Yeah. I see you have a plus two sword, and it's as big as mine. Kevin, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could use some healing, because I have... Give me my line! <laughs> Not your line? That's really funny. I need some healing. Mm. Heal bot. Now let's see how you handle it. You put your plate mail on? I don't remember how healing how to do pure light. So I just roll, is it what do you starter? What do you put your plate eight. mail on? Yes. This is a pretty well okay. defended plus, plus one plate mail. Seven. Let's feel the plus Seven. one Max, power. Max, plus one, Why don't we just all rest? Oh. Let's, let's, let's finish so this. So your armor class is down to zero? If yes. Can't tonight. You have four healing left? Yeah, four pure light left. I'm down six. I'd say everybody's down six. Alright, so you guys have managed to go through three rooms now tonight. We're going to try to get the last room. Up north. Back, Adam. Smash through the wall. Switch this back, Adam. Oh, yep. We're going north. Smash through the other wall, 33. How did this room get looted when we couldn't get through the freaking door? They figured it out, and we didn't. <laughs> How to get through? And then they Pulse changed right back. So you, so you begin your um, smashing again. I think everybody It's about I, the I, same, I, same pace as you were working before. It's loud work. Is there singing? It's chanting. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, roll. And, and, you, and you do manage to smash through it. I think it's gonna. The question is, is it gonna be the queen now? Less hard or harder? Well, she could have. I thought it was queen this time. Oh yeah, banshee is usually a female, right? Yes. Oh, well, was it banshee or a white? Or? All right, we make we make our way banshee. through. I guess. Screaming. The room. Carefully, I, I, I stealthily, checking for traps and searching for secret actively. Doors. Yeah, okay. Yeah, as you can see, there's no super there's doors, there's but there's just a regular door. Oh, wait, can we plug our ears before we go through, just in case it's another banshee? Uh, That's great Elric's going to take some bread from his travel rations, squish it so it gets all doughy, and then put it in his ears. So he can... I think we it. should all do that. What? <laughs> what did you say? Huh? You're dirty, and you're trying to wipe things off of your tunic. Your hands are dirty. You uh, you took your hard tack and moistened it, is what you're saying? <laughs> yes. And stuffed it in our ears. It and stuffed it in your ears. Why don't you guys just heal us up so we're fully healed and then we can go on from there? Because we don't want to waste our healing spells. Because we're down six and we can heal up to eight. <laughs> if we win this. Okay. Let's go through. Yep. So let's uh, all right, let's do it. Kevin wants to go first and try and turn this one. Okay. Hey, mirror the room. How about that? The walls of this room are plain stone. An oblong box made from stone slabs lies in the center of the room. Deja vu. Written in several languages on the side of the box are the words, May the curse of darkness destroy all those 
who dare desecrate my resting place. Mm -hmm. The box is three feet high, seven feet long, and three feet wide. Is it in... Okay, let's go. Bye. Do we have any potions on us if we have to break out the big guns? Okay, did you not read... So. Did there you not nothing. read this? There was nothing. Did you not read the sign of this tomb? It was the curse of darkness. That means an evil god worshiper. Are we going? Are we going to uh, our... desecrate or not? Absolutely not. I, I think we. Why not? I mean, we've done everything else. <laughs> this because this one asked us not to. It warned us. This is different. We weren't attacked immediately upon entering the room. We have a choice here, and our choice should be to leave. We I don't know. want to. We don't want. To, it said, "Do not desecrate this school." If we were yeah, this one, this we one might have actual real treasure instead of a crummy so crown that we broke. That's, that's not only worth a thousand gold pieces. Around the corner before it got to the. What's that, Mike? Who's got I said, well, we could have had a five thousand gold piece crown, but now we only have a thousand gold piece crown. Who knows what we might find in this one? You know, the opportunity but, for more the, armor. The black or curse. Is really nice too. I, we're gonna find an evil person here. Or it could just be somebody who's putting that on there just to scare people like you. Or, or it's already been activated, and we're gonna get nothing by opening it. Other That's than true. Knowledge. We're still gonna be desecrating a tomb by choice. These areas have already been looted. And these are not people who wish We've them. already, yeah, we've already desecrated, desecrated the other two. What's the third? Oh Come on. Three, no, three, no. three times a charm. Are you saying they're monotheists? Yes, they're monotheists. <laughs> Imagine just worshiping Actually, one. You're tri they're tritheists. You see a few smashed chests. So the room's already been looted. We should make sure that we should, we should make sure that it wasn't desecrated. Looted. And if it was, we should bless it to, re to, to reconsecrate it. What's a good idea? Yes. I, I, I think I think you guys should definitely do that. Yes, yes. Let's 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 do that. I prepare I prepare a commune with my god in preparation to re bless this desecrated tomb. I start a chant spell to enhance everybody's ability. What does that do? Plus one for everybody, minus one for all of our enemies. I Plus like one it. everything? How long does it last? <laughs> I actually do. I really want to use this because I use it. It's gone. Yes, use it. One turn. You need it. It lasts as long as I do the chant, I believe. Oh. Did you run out of breath? How does the chant go? The bonus penalty continues as long as the player continues to chant the mystic syllables and is stationary. Ooh, and is stationary. So An interruption, however. That's you. Break the sugar, 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 sugar. Uh, okay, so, uh, Sandor, once the chance spell is completed, all attacks, damage, and saving throws made by those in the area of effect who are friendly to the cleric are plus one, while those that are in the cleric's enemies are minus one. Okay. That's pretty awesome. That's really good. Yes. Let's push the stone off the... <laughs> Mikey, so check the traps. Let us gently reveal the desolated yes. tomb that we may reconsecrate it. The question is, does that count as a magic? If, if, if somebody attacks with a non magic weapon, does that give them credit for. because it's a magical bomb? Be a hate uh, again, you're getting up. I'm casting a chance spell. It's going to take a little bit spell. Second level, clear. I really want to know what my PHP is. I'll double check, but I don't think I have it. You know, because you, you had the second of the. the second E1. Well, it's it's, second. I definitely don't have it. No, you know, I remember not finding it, and then finding it, and now I don't remember where I found it. Recently? Or some time ago, like when you're cleaning shelves. Probably when Amy cleaned, when Amy cleaned the shelves. At least you still got your complete works of Shakespeare. Or is that thing Checker's Guide to the Galaxy? I can't tell both here. <laughs> one by the time I One is each, one of each. Thanks. I don't see how you think this is a, creates any magic. Aura. It, j it just says um, once a chance spell is complete, you gotta have faith, man. all attacks, damage, and saving throws are made in the area of effect. You're or friendly to the cleric or at plus one. Yeah. You're the boss. And cleric's well, enemies are at minus bonus. one. I think that makes sense. I, I don't see anything here that says anything about magic bonus. I think there's only one or two people who don't have magic items. Yeah. yeah me. And, and one of my guys. The guy who's chanting. But everybody who has magic items has a better chance of hitting it. If we sleep for eight hours, I can get two magic missile spells. But. <laughs> Kevorn's going to heal anyway. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, sorry, help. Kevorn is going to reconsecrate. Uh, after Mikey looks for traps, we're going to try to open up the sarcophagus. Well, the, the, whoever <laughs> who has, does not have magic items, show up in the sarcophagus. 
Both of us. Kephorn should help mm -hmm. open the, the sarcophagus. That I might start. I try to push. It's yeah, well, Alaric's pushing because he's got no magic. Either. It's an identical stone box, so you okay. figure you probably so it, it, can't do it themselves. I need one more person who does not have a magic item. Kephorn, Kephorn will help with this holy symbol at the ready. Okay. Shove it aside. Joel, if I if I point my, if I point my sword at the at the box, the stone box, does it detect any magic or anything? I don't think it could uh, attack, detect anything through stone. Alright, then we have to open the box then. I mean, right. come on. I'm opening the box. That's like Superman. Okay. Oh, it's kryptonite. Mike, can you see that? Oh, that's even worse. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me switch. Oh my gosh, look how... Oh, uh, oh that thing's ugly as hell. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. Don't ruin the crown on this one, guys. Can you describe that for people who can't see? Yeah. It um, looks like a lich. <laughs> There is a hideous undead creature that jumps as soon as the boxes, uh, the lid of the box is taken off. So the party up to roll for initiative. Mikey, that's your cue, my friend. I guess I'm rolling. Roll, 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 roll. It kind of looks like one of those creatures from Dark Crystal that it's lived a in a village. It looks like Azuserac to me. <laughs> we roll the five, Joel. Really okay, party's got initiative. Okay, well, if. Ke Kephorn is right there, and he will say, Be gone, foul creature that will reconsecrate this tomb! And tries to turn undead again. This, that's not going to happen. You don't have high enough blood. Unless you no, roll but, uh, but, Unless you roll There's fire. nothing else he can do. Uh, you get a plus one. That's true. Well, Ten. I'm a third? Third. Yeah, that's I ain't going to turn shit. Do you have any wisdom <laughs> bonuses? I don't... I, is, I swing my flail with all my might. His wisdom is a 16. I don't know if that This happens. is Beetlejuice. Plus one, no, we already had a Beetlejuice. Mm -hmm. Ten. Yeah. One of the Beetles was Beetlejuice. Who, who named the Beetle Beetlejuice? This is, it's got to be undead, man. Donovan. That is a miss. Donovan from... Um, That's uh, with your bonuses? Are you no, 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 no. Uh, from Indiana Jones one? Last Crusade. Six. He chose poorly. And he gets oh, all undead yeah. looking. This, this guy's name is Donovan. Donovan. All right, Ashley's going with the sword plus Not one. Sean. Sean of the Undead. 15, 16, 17. Oh, that's a good one. Fighter for the devil. Which one? 15, 16, I, I, I rolled a 15. I got plus one for the sword. It's 16. I got plus one for my strength. It's 17. And I got plus one for the champ. It's 18. Oh, it's 18. That's, that's a hit. Long sword. I don't think I'm going to kill it. Long sword is a 1d8 plus 3. In the champ? Yeah, I I'm added at it. Okay. Ooh, 10. Oh, nice, man. It takes a really good shot, but right, it's it's certainly, it's certainly not going to fall really apart. So for yeah. 16 strength, I don't get anything for... Come on, Mikey. Plus eight. one damage. But nothing, but not to hit. Right. Where's That's Mikey go? Off the top of your head. There he is. You know, sword gives a big e-haw. It's been a, it may have been a long time. There was a lot of years playing it. <laughs> Mikey, take this thing out. Come on. right in the batch pile, man. I have to look that up every time. I've gotten so lazy, I just go back Mike to the there. Yeah, no. Bob, you're attacking? Uh, I have nothing that I can do to possibly harm this thing. Um, Why don't you grab my um, throwing axe? Is it magical? Plus one. Yeah, I can't use axes. Well, I mean, I could, but if I do, then all the experience I gained for this entire adventure is nullified. So I can go back to using my ranger skills, but that the sacrifice of all the magic user experience that I've learned. Right, so... Carter went, Sukkot went, I Ashley went. My ranger powers again when I become the other Gap one went. My magic user level is yeah. Did anybody besides me hit? Uh, oh, I know what I'll do. Uh, you have a plus one extra hit that Mikey. I have, a, I have my, my plus two sword, and I have a plus one? Yeah. Plus everything. Oh, I'm, I'm out. Yeah, do this. You're not going to get much of a good look with a white jumping out. Hmm. Whitey the white. That's or that's your view. Twenty two. Mike's twenty two. You're not gonna jump in there. I think Mike hit with Mike, that's a hit. Plus one damage, Mike. Is it a, I guess it's just a medium creature again? Right. I think Mike's two damage. I forgot how brutal this game is. Six points of damage. Okay. Wait, did you get plus one for the chance? Oh, seven points of damage. There you go. Okay. Alright, uh Efron. Seventeen. With his new magic longsword. Mm -hmm. 
16, 17, 18, 19. That's right. Is it hit? All right, now uh, it's a D8. Plus, do I get plus to damage from the long swing of the magic also? Yep. And your strength and the chance. Yeah. So okay. plus four total. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wait, and you're an elf? And it's yes. A that just gives me plus one to hit. Oh, okay. Three and four is seven. 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 Ooh, 24. I got 24 on this thing. And the white disappears into a bunch of black smoke. I feel useful. I got the chance. last hit. That means I got 10% chance. of the damage. Chance for the win. Nice. <laughs> Boy, how different things might have been if he won, or she won initially. Yeah, just right. Like yeah. Yeah. Well, how bad is he? What is the attack roll? Just out of curiosity. Well, it's just a hit die three. But is it, is it drain level or anything? Yeah. yeah. Drain oh, level. Oh, it does drain levels. Uh, I don't you, I mean, you, you get, you that's get a that's not like you get it back after the fight. That's save. just, it's, it's gone. It's gone. You Halfway down. And it's every hit, right? Halfway down. All right, you so. You half your experience. So there's a crown that, that falls to the ground. Don't smash it. Kevor, Kevor, don't smash it. Don't smash it. I just and want to reconsecrate the tomb. We need to put the, the crown back in the tomb to reconsecrate it. And no, the queen's do. scepter is there. Ooh. Otherwise, the box is empty. Uh, does the scepter have magic potential? Yep. Why do you bring your sword up to it? Are there any Are there any bones That's or other such remains in the box? Yeah. No, the the, sep, the sword feels the scepter is magical, and then you've got the, a very valuable crown, very similar to King Alexander's. So. Dukat's going to so, grab the but scepter. But not smashed. Like the uh, treasure the expert says, it's probably worth about 5,000 gold pieces. So we it's actually get taking. the heart fight first. No, level draining's worse. Yeah, level draining's probably worse. Uh, Dukat's going to grab the scepter, see okay. if he can figure out about it. And Ka Porn will, will do his best to reconsecrate the area, even though there's no body. He feels yeah, as though he should do that. It's a wand Maybe of paralyzation. Maybe he should place as well. Ooh. You'll have to study it a little more to determine how many charges left it has. Mm. And I assume with AD&D, &D, once the charges are gone, there's worthless. You know, it's up to the GM, it's up to the DM if they want to find a way for you to recharge it. It's not like you wait a day and all of a sudden. Yeah, you're not back. That would be like only magical artifacts, super powerful artifacts, recharge over time. The Queen's Chamber once contained a treasure trove. However, the only treasure left is the jeweled crown she wears and her scepter. Since becoming a creature of darkness, she has forgotten how to use the wand. Creature of darkness. Okay. Well, thank God she didn't know how to use that. I, I feel I feel as though I may have been mistaken and, and, and hesitated to get off putting these tools. These creatures of darkness clearly needed to be vanquished in the name oh, yeah. of... So that out. concludes the level, except for the one passage that you never... So let's go check the passage north of the secret, that north secret door passage. Before we go, I feel like I need to try to reconsecrate the king's tomb as well. Before we, okay. go. Before we yeah, go. you stay here, we're going to take four, four. Go right ahead. Wow. We'll wait for you. It'll only take me like four or five hours. That's fine. Go ahead. <laughs> we're taking the wicked heavy sarcophagus top with us to break... No. <laughs> <laughs> to put over the trap triggers so we can just walk. Yeah, is there any way... Triggers. Blocks start rumbling. Though. Can we just smash you a wall so I don't have to try and do that again with that point? <laughs> <laughs> I really think if we just slide those sarcophagus tops right across the floor, we can't trigger it anymore. So Wait, the, yeah. we, we're never going to get that sarcophagus top through that we'll wall. We'll the bendy place. What if we throw some rubble? Hey, uh, I got couch on my third floor in my condo. <laughs> it's amazing. I don't know how they got it up there, but if they can get that couch... <laughs> I think you get that. I, I've not been that. able to move some furniture in my house. <laughs> Me and George moving the piano downstairs from his upstairs apartment. Oh that, that was comical. Two people moving the piano. Two people? Wow. Who are not professional piano when, And when it's George, you always piano. know there's a, a story Still. behind it. Yeah. So. They're heavy. That was almost as funny as the day I asked Josh and Daru to come over to my house and move my safe. Oh my <laughs> god, your gun safe was insane. <laughs> I remember helping Jeb move. Like We were putting a couch in the uh, elevator. And we're like, it'll probably fit. They would push all the ceiling tiles up. <laughs> like, <laughs> is that tall? Like, you have this problem whenever you take the ambulance stretcher into an <coughs> elevator that uh, many times it doesn't fit. And if you can shrink it, you can try to shrink it a little bit, but there's some, some elevators that just don't fit. So you're like, how are we going to manage this? All right, moving on. So you, oh, you're going to lose hanging with that. Oh, okay. we, we get creative. You, you, okay. guys, you guys know how to play a little hopscotch. You have no problem making it through that. Thank you. Kevlar, oh. thanks you. Thank you. Now that you've got it down. Oh. All right. That, that was, was very down. That just means that he wants the ants to kill us now. That, that's all. No. We've already <laughs> killed the ants, so we're going to 
cautiously, I guess, go through that secret door and head north and finish the area. Alright, so you don't see the, the haunts there. It only took us two years to finish this level. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. I'm sure there's, we're not near the record for longest we're not done yet. gap in D&D games, but I think we're doing pretty it well. It just ends in the dead end. All right. Huh. I search for secret doors in the dead end. None. So I <laughs> guess then basically we need to go back to the thing in the floor, and that's how we're going to go down the next time? How do we get to this level? Those stairs? Must have been 25. No, oh, room 38, oh, where yeah. the, the ramp moved its way down. From the ceiling. See that dotted line there? Well, hold on, guys. We never opened the floor up to see what was down there. That's where that's we're going. going. That's next. where we're going to go. And this okay. Is, I feel like we've got some, some unexplored area here, but I also feel like we don't know that we have an explored area there. Because nah, I, I thought room 38 was how we get out, get, get to the next level. No, 38 brought us into this level. We're going down to the hole. We, 38 took us uh, okay. to level, level 4. So the problem with going back to 25 would have been like seven random months or a uh, wandering uh, monster yeah, or uh, and what we can do is we can rest, and we can all heal back up again. Thank you. But I'm I don't think more sleeping overnight actually heals us. But uh, I think it's like one HP per day or That's something. Right. But I've also got four, five yeah, more it, It's lights. more about, it's more about, if you remember Full Radiance, it's heal, 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 heal. That's right. Rest. Recharge. Spells. Yeah. Heal, 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 You're absolutely right. Mm -hmm. All right, gentlemen. Well, we didn't lose a level. Nobody died yet. We got, I... We got some loot. We lost 4,000 experience points, but we thought that we could just... We got a lot more than 4,000. Nobody told me not to. That's true. We got 6,000 experience points. Figure out the XP for leveling up is going to be hard. Mm -hmm. plus, plus a white and a... Uh, and a banshee. And a banshee. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. Well, we did get 6,000 GP plus the Wand of Paralyzation. That's yeah. true, too. And, and uh, magic armor and mag plate magic mail, sword. Plus you know how hard it is right, to magic armor and magic sword. We couldn't even afford plate mail as level one characters. Now you're sporting magical plate mail. Josh, you don't lose it this time. It's on a yellow piece of paper, just like uh, my old one used to be. Does that mean? We thought we were so great. You want to take it off? Kind of really the addition. Do you remember the yellow piece of paper that we had, Josh? You want to turn off the recording? Oh, you didn't open the recorder. And it stopped recording on the right hand side, bottom right. There's just stop, there should be stop recording. Button. Close and roll 20, but I can leave. Hang out, sorry. Check that shit out. I mean, so good. Look over your shoulder, Joel. Wouldn't want to. Yeah, uh, there's nothing here. You haven't seen. Uh, uh, just to make sure you. Where's the recorder? What's it? Can we put the football game on quick? Why is it on the sofa? It's the national championship. It's tied up with 30 seconds yeah. left. No, don't do exit. Stop recording right there. Bye. Bye.